Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Hope you're doing well. Cody pumping on is really fun. Unbelievable, right? I thought that was pretty funny. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Hope you're having a wonderful day out here in YouTube, man. We are here every single day at 9.30 in the morning, bringing it to you live. The greatest group in crypto, the crypto lifers, man. Call yourself a lifer. Jump on in to the craziest group of people in YouTube. Love y'all, man. The passion is real. The passion is real in my group. I can feel it every single day when I get onto the live. Shout out to Chrissy Fouts banging on him with that one coin. Shout out to Adam Gibson, Charlie Hatch. Visa announces plans to buy and use Bitcoin. Come on, man. Who's got a gem for me? Unorthodox path. Let's make some profit. Shout out to William Angor. Shout out to Adam Khan. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for jumping on in let's take a look at fiat weekly just to get it's like stretching right to me i like to stretch we know we're going to do some deep dives right now we know we're going to really get in to the thick of it we're going to look at bitcoin we're going to look at bitcoin dominance total total too we're going to get an understanding of the entire market we're going to put the market in our hands all right and then we're going to deep dive into the projects that we think are going to go up more than others we're going to find the charts that are poised to pop and we're going to go through so many different coins in the next two hours that we are going to blow your mind. So if that makes you insanely excited, I think you should stay tuned. I think you should hit the like button. And I think you should subscribe to the one of the fastest growing YouTube channels out here, Crypto Lifer, man. So let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, shout out to everyone here in the live. Thank you guys so much for jumping on in. I appreciate you guys being here every single day. Okay, um, all right, my friends, let me pop up the chat and let it get it going, shout out to the dollar from Charlie Hatch, thank you so much for getting the super chat started, man, you're the man for that, you're the man for that, all right, so, we're gonna get through the show fast, I wanna get to the tickers fast, and we will get to these tickers, man, and I'm so excited, we're going to boss through this. Okay. So check it out. Now, I have an amazing team right now working in the back end. They're going to be writing down your tickers as they come through, as I go through Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance. Then we're going to get through the tickers and ticker time. We're going to go through the tickers. If you'd like a deep dive, throw out a super chat, and I will do a deep dive and really, really go into the coin a little more than normal. We'll look in the back end. We'll read about the team, and we'll kind of make you feel all cuddly and muddly about it. So if that's something you like, this is kind of the format we're going to try to make happen here. So keep it moving with the live stream. And thank you guys so much for sharing your most precious asset with me. And that is your time. Uh, mix, mix, Jasol, no worries, man. I just went back to sleep. I was exhausted. We'll figure out another time. I am, I am not uh, upset at all. Everything is great. So thank you so much, man. Don't worry. Sorry I missed your call there. Stumbled upon Ether cards and was posturing to buy one. But gas was too high and didn't pull the trigger. Sitting on one ETH now. And I want to put it in a gem on uni let me know well we're gonna look at it we're gonna take a look um i threw an x cur the other day look out for my videos too sometimes i find out about something and i throw a video up fast so make sure you're subscribing make sure you're in tune make sure you're ready to rock all right super important okay super important so shout out to everyone here on the live stream thank you guys so much for jumping on in okay we're going to look at here. This is Fiat Leak. This is showing you where all the money's going. We're seeing a lot of Bitcoin. We're seeing a lot of EOS coming in right now, okay? We're seeing some Ether, a little bit of KNC. The Kyber Network seems to be getting a little little love. Some Atom, a lot of Atom. Giant Atom buy just went in. The bigger the ball, the bigger the buy. Tron's flying in there a little bit. We got some big Tron buys coming through. Algo flying into the side. A little ADA coming in. Chainlink throwing into the pot. We got some Uni going in. XLM is hot today. Z Zcash seems to be a little hot. We got some ZRX coming in too. XLM is pumping slightly. Ethereum. This is how you can see the market fast. This is really like a useful tool. Um, and we can get an idea of who's pumping what and what's going down. You know, Bitcoin firing off like normal. Brrr. Bitcoin's firing off. 
People are buying Bitcoin as fast as they can print money at the Federal at the Federal Reserve. Brrr. The Federal Reserve, honestly, the American, if the American people woke up and all of us bought Bitcoin, we would save the United States. It would save the entire country. So uh, anyone heard of Matic? Would you be curious to hear your thoughts? I talked about Matic. Matic is something I literally just gave to my Patreon. So crazy. I told them accumulate Matic right now. Right now. So shout out to everyone here on the live stream. We're going to get into Bitcoin right now. Show you what's happening. We gave you a trade yesterday on Bitcoin as well. Put you into Bitcoin at 50. Right? I said at the bottom of the pattern. We watched this one hour. I suggested this was your buy zone. And we went all the way back up. 55,000. We were like 50, 54,800 was really the buy-in. And boom, man. Bitcoin now at 57,000. And it went all the way up to 62,000 there, okay? As suggested in the, in the trade. I said, there's your buy zone. I believe we'll get to the top of the pattern, okay? So Bitcoin doing damage, man. Um, interesting enough, right? So Bitcoin on the, 14, on the 13th, it's an all-time high. Double bottoms here. Starts to make a move. What do I see happening for Bitcoin? Well, let's take a look right now. On the, on the exact time frame, the one hour. What does the one hour do? The one hour is going to give us what's going to happen in the next few. In probably the ne at least eight, eight, nine, six hours. We're going to know what's going to be happening with Bitcoin in the next few hours. I got the music for you. I got the music for you. Okay, so check it out. So what I talk about a lot is I see, I believe this is what's going on right here. All right. We were in a beautiful pennant here on the one hour. Like a lot of these altcoins are sitting in the same type of pattern. And we're going to go over this today. And you're going to see this over and over again. And we're going to make some of the same. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the same details over and over again as well. So shout out to everyone on the live stream. Is it going well? Do we got a good feed? 37 people watching. Excellent. Excellent. Um, excellent. Uh, how do you feel about Link not asking for a deep dive? Um, let me get my scuba, de scuba gear on. No. So, yeah, um, I believe Link is going to do some damage. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we'll get into Link in a little while. We'll write that down. So every ticker that you guys ask about will be written down by the team. And we will get to your ticker. So thank you guys so much for working with us. We're going to look at Bitcoin right now. We're going to take a look at Bitcoin as it is sitting in a beautiful bull pen. It broke out, came back, and retested what? The 200-day moving average. Man, actually, no. The, it actually just tested the 50-day, which is even better. And uh, no, the 80-day moving average, actually. And we're getting a cross with the 200. We also got a golden cross right here. The 50 just crossing the 200-day moving average. Look at the last time Bitcoin crossed the 50 crossed the 200-day moving average right around here after a slight dip below. That was a big move for Bitcoin. So just trying to show you you know, some confluence between a past move and this move and what is possibly going to happen. So take a look at this, man. Um, so take a look. We will get to BTT. We will get to DNT. Thank you for adding them. We'll add them to the tickers. And once we're done with Bitcoin, Bitcoin dominance total and total two, we will rip through your tickers. And I really, really appreciate it. If you wanted me to do a deep dive, send in a super chat and I will bang out a super, a, like something amazing, well worth your super chat. So thank you guys so much for jumping on in. And I really, really appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you for sharing your most precious asset with me. And that is your time. Okay, see, on this earth, 12.78% Bitcoin could go all the way up, man. Can you believe that? To $65,000. So that is the present target for Bitcoin on the one hour. There's a bigger target too, and we can get to that. But right now, this is what I see going on. Okay? A to hits Coinbase, man. That's what I'm saying. All day long. Digibyte. We will get to Digibyte. That is going to be a winner as well. So I like to see here, Bitcoin positioned. One hour is down here, probably might double bottom. We could see a little more consolidation, but this is a good price here. One hour suggests that you could make a trade on this right now. So what's going on is we're making a bit of a flag. This is a bull flag, my friends. Flagging out again, Bitcoin. So you could even take the smaller position here, take the length of your pole, flip it here, and that gives Bitcoin to our first target which was the previous high, okay, at 62,000. I think Bitcoin's on the way to make a new all-time high at 65,000 and then 
kind of hang out. It will probably come back and test 60K, and that's going to be a really happy place. 60 to 60K, go sideways, and then once the altcoins get to just absolutely rip, whoever jumps into Bitcoin. Now, you have to remember, the first coin people get into is Bitcoin. They jump into Bitcoin, then it goes up. Then it goes up again. And what do they do? Now they're up. They're excited. They sell their profit, but they keep the Bitcoin. Like they, they like if they put in $1,000 in Bitcoin, it turns into 3000 they keep the $1,000 of Bitcoin, they sell it into what? All coins. Someone tells them, oh, buy this all coin, buy that all coin. And that's what starts to begin to happen. So Bitcoin just ripping, doing good, doing what it's supposed to do. Everything looking good. We're low on the, on the RSI, coming down into a falling wedge. And we don't have to get even too low in a bullish scenario. You know, we're showing some signs of uh, really strength here as this was no retracement. Like we could have retraced and bounced off of the lower trend line. Moving averages are curving up, but again, we see the golden cross, which is the 50-day crossing the 200. On the one hour, it's not a huge deal. Like, you know, it doesn't last forever, but it did It did suggest that this was the beginning of a big move right here. Look, golden cross, and look what happened. Bitcoin went all the way from 48,000 all the way to that 60,000 60, region. So I'm just, just, I'm just saying, you know, I'm just saying. Um, what are your thoughts on the future of Tron? I think I have a weird intuition that Tron's just not that great. I don't know why. Something in my intuition tells me to be careful. But I think Tron is good. I mean, it's been around a long time. Has a, one of some of the most dabs on it. But for all the hype around it, you know what? Justin Sun overhyped himself and he created like a strange aura with his team. And I just think there's way better teams out there to invest in. Like as as a as a per like I like to invest in people who create the coin. Like that's why I invest in SHR. Um and uh, yeah, I, I believe, um, you know, David, that would be amazing. I believe we could see Cardano at $4, at $4 on the 4th of July. What a summer we could have. Are you able to say your thoughts on Coinbase listing of ADA? Is that in just over two hours? Um, I believe this is amazing, man. Coinbase. Oh, and it's going to list it on the regular Coinbase. Now, yeah, that's what happens. It goes to Coinbase Pro, Coinbase Square. So right now, I'm telling you guys, there's a trade right here for Bitcoin. Now, to make a one-hour trade, which is going to go well, you then position yourself on the 15 or the 30 minute, okay? Make sure they're low. And you know what? They're both pushing to the upside, which I like. And the 30 minute is in our favor too. So this is a, a perfect trade. Morning, can you talk about farming a bit? If you were still on it and what's new? Um, love how of an open-minded trader you are. Thank you so much, Deadlift. I uh, really appreciate the super chat, man. Means a lot to me. That means a lot. It means a lot. Nicest thing anyone did this morning. Super awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, do you know when ADA actually be is being officially listed on Coinbase Pro? Like what time? Yes, we we put this up yesterday. And if you go to my group, it was definitely in my group. You could search ADA. Thank you so much for that super chat, Deadlift. Really appreciate it. We will get into we will get into farming and I'll show you how to use. Okay, basically, all right. I'm just gonna give you a quick understand. You want to know what's farming, what's new in farming, how to find out what's new in farming. Okay. I answer, I'm going to show you how to answer your own question real quick. All right. So really fast. Look, we go to CoinGecko. All right. And you're going to go to um, DeFi here. Right. And scroll over DeFi. Now playing games with me. $58,000 Bitcoin. And you can see all the different coins that we have in DeFi. All right. You can also go to BS Scan. And I'm doing a bunch of farming. Yes, I'm always farming something. Like right now, I'm farming berry data. Okay, right now I'm farming uh, YF die. I'm doing my thing with a little bit of staking and farming there. And so right here, look, you can go here and look validators, blockchains, token resources, yield farm list. This is super important. Now you can see what yield farms are coming out. What's going on? You got Warden Swap, Mango Finance. These just came out today. Um, you want to get in the second they start. So like this one started yesterday warden swap okay and you can start checking them out belt finance that was connected to the belt ifo right hydra swap i was in hyrule swap for a while i want to see what's going on with hyrule swap i got out yeah you know what i still would have been profiting pretty well actually with the 75 cent move they do have the gambling uh let's see if they lowered the reservoir or the loan ranch yeah 2000 eh. but i still would have been profitable i was just about to break even at one point i still would have been profitable i ended up getting out and getting into xcur um what's the main difference between farming and staking okay when you farm you do a liquidity pool so when you farm you split two tokens like 
You basically go here to trade. You go to the liquidity. You find the exchange. It, it sends you to the exchange, right? I'd have to like load my wallet for it to do. There we go. And you hit add liquidity. When you add liquidity, uh, you have to add two pairs. You have to add BNB and something else. Like whatever. So basically you go back to uh, Hyrule and Hyrule would have to have a farming area. Like here they have farms. We'll go to Pancake Swap and we'll show you the farms. They'll tell you what pairs you need to farm. All right. So that's what farming is. Farming is taking two coins, splitting them up into a liquidity pool and gaining access to, to gains doing that. All right. So that's what farming is. Staking is just putting your coin, just putting, you know, connecting your contract to their contract. And like, it's like a savings account. It's like sitting there. It's not doing anything. Hey, Life, you got any KuCoin gems? I'm not really deep on KuCoin right now at the very moment. Don't want to lie to you. I do have an account though. So I like Bitcoin here at 57.8. I think it's coming back down to the bottom of the pattern here. About to make a move on the 30 minute. Looking pretty nice on the one hour as well. About to make a curve. To me, this is it. This is where you buy low stochastics. Everything looking good coming out here. I like where Bitcoin is here. 57.7, 57.6 if you get that low. Unless we break this pattern. If we start to break this pattern, it'll worry me a little bit. That will, you know. But as long as we hold something like this, as long as we hold this area, something like that, which I believe we're about to do, 57.8 I believe is your, is your target right now for entry. Do not do anything I do on this channel again. This is all for for info entertainment purposes only none of this is financial advice thank you lever i know about coin gecko just wanted to hear if there was any you're hot on right now um you know took a break out of that for a second you know i i, I go hard on it for a while and then i and then i take a little break go hard on it take a little break so i've been taking a little break you know i've been finding that you know if you do too many um they're not it's it's they're not always extremely profitable I've been focused on trading and NFTs and finding the next hot gem, honestly. So look out for that. Look out for the NFT gems I talk about. Look out for the new video I'm putting out later on today about NFTs. So how is money generated for staking? Some staking is 15%, which seems huge. You know, how is actually generated anything from them to pay percentages of gains? Thanks. What they do is they mint the coin and they come up with a lot of their own coin. Now, what they could do is they could tell people about the coin and they could spend $10 million on advertising, right? But that's not what DeFi does. What DeFi does is they open it up, they put it on the regular chain, like they put it on CoinGecko and all these places. And then what they do is they use part of their own liquidity to pay you to stake and to add liquidity to the pool. So they use some of their own coin to pay you. And then when other people buy, they pay you. It is somewhat Ponzi in a way because it's like you, like you have to provide your liquidity. And that's why there's in a permanent loss. Like if someone just stops buying and nothing happens and the coin price drops, and you're providing liquidity and then you take your liquidity back like what do you think is going to happen you know and if the two the two coins you put in are pretty you know like you put in bnb at 250 and you put this in a dollar and this goes all the way to like a buck i mean i mean uh, like 10 cents you have in permanent loss but some but even with permanent loss if you stay in long enough and there's enough fees coming and enough people can start buying the, the bottom again what happens is you end up earning more then your loss and then once you then you break even sometimes like it took me two weeks to make break even on smoke and then smoke started to pay me fast right and then i started gaining so it's like there's a strategy to it you get in you can get in the first day and get out and then keep finding ones and getting getting on them the first few days that's really the fastest way to do it i believe and then that way you get the highest like you just go from one fifteen thousand apr to the next over and over and over and over again but it is fun to start a farm and watch it like grow into fruition i've done it a few times now and, and i find it interesting and i do find it entertaining it's kind of like a little hobby of mine so yeah I, I, and, and there you go man there you go so let's get back into bitcoin i see it breaking all the way up here to my target here at sixty-five thousand dollars. realistically temporary sh short-term trade here we'll take a look at the four hour four hour looks like it could double top for us which could provide that next upward movement and we're up here man we were up here last time and this is really where the big move started I knew you could say, oh, but that's a stochastic turning up on the high side. Thanks for clearing my doubts in farming and staking. Such a good waste of time being here. Thank you for clearing my thoughts in farming and staking. Such a good waste of time being here, even if for two-thirds of an hour. Crazy value. Thank you so much, man. Um, just bought Matic. There you go, man. There you go. And we'll take a look at Matic. You might have wanted to wait until I went over, Matic. Thank you so much for the super chat, the double super chat. Really appreciate that. You guys are awesome, man. Um, uh, 
Okay, so now we're going to move on in. Now we're going to look at the four hour. Now I want to show you here. The last time the Stokes were right here, we're going to make a move. We're going to make a V. And then we're going to make another uh, Alt V, which is a vertical line. And we're just going to show you what happened to the price in just a loop. In just one of these. So that's all the price did. And then went to the downside, right? So, and we know, we know it doesn't do the same thing every time, but we're just juxtaposing this idea right that like this does you know what i'm saying connect that dot like that and it goes up and down and up and down and honestly like look what happened the last time look what happened the last time i'm going to compare this to this move and this is just a one hour the four hour chart too like we're not even daily in this up so i'm just trying to show you how much more room we have on these stochastics on the four hour four hour could take us to the $70,000 region. It really could. So get excited, man. Bitcoin's about to do something big. I have a feeling for Bitcoin. Things are looking really, really nice. It came down and tested support. It's back up. It's getting bought up by big time people. I mean, that's great. Two to three hours a day of my time. So much to learn and value on your streams. You seem confused. Bless, bro. You seem confused. I don't know what he's, I don't know what you're doing. I, I, I'm so confused, man. I meant it's a two to three hours a day. Oh, yeah. No, I am. I was confused. I didn't know. Yeah. No, sorry, man. Um, <laughs> Lifer, in what situation should we trade for pair BTC and for pair USDT? Well, that's important. When when big, um, number one, um, when you feel there's a movement, I think you were confused by his typo. Yeah, I don't know. Um, Anyway, let's move on. I get like even those things get me off. Okay, so check it out. So Bitcoin back into the movement, back into the train of thought. I think an alpha part of my brain starts to run when I'm doing the live stream, and then I have to use the the beta paint to look at certain things or like actually think, because I'm running on just like a subconscious meter right now. So anyway, as we continue to move through this stream, we can see that we're we're on our way up here, and uh yeah, I see the target here, and I believe you could enter the trade right here, 57.7. Remember I said 57.70. When it went that low, I said, I believe that's a, a really nice entry for Bitcoin right now. So remember that I said that that was the entry. Take the trade. Take it. I'm, I'm riding Bitcoin right now as we speak. Because I said a waste of time. I, I meant many people waste their time watching movies. They should be in your stream. You're sharing golden knowledge. No, thank you so much, man. Much respect. Not respect. Much respect. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Another 4 million tokens in circulation for one inch from 95 to what now? One inch. Please take this into your TA as they are keeping it at under $5. Don't stress that, man. Don't stress that. Don't stress that. More people will buy the token. Um, another 40 million, you should say. 95 to 144. Now 148 million. Please take this into your TA as they are keeping it at under $5. Um, it's so hard to send a good compliment through text. It's funny. All right, so now we're going to look at Bitcoin on the daily, just to give you a, a, a look at where it is now, too. The daily, I believe, is starting to curl. And we're seeing a, a move to the upside. And when Bitcoin does that, uh, like right here, it didn't go all the way up. We'll see the last time it didn't want to go all the way up. That was the beginning of a giant move, like right here. Started the big catalyst that really began this whole entire thing. So that's kind of interesting because the last time, look, it came up, comes all the way down. There's a, there's a curve up, too. There's a push up. So here are some places where Bitcoin doesn't curve, but the curve in this in this middle area, that's telling me there's some high demand. And the last time it did that was right here, right here. And that was the beginning of the biggest move ever, man. It's rare for Bitcoin to do this, to be honest. It's very rare because I watch these stokes like a hawk and I never see the daily. It's rare to see the daily start to turn like this. Look, 57.7, 57.9. I'm telling you, Bitcoin's going to go to 58. Once it crosses that 58, it's gone. We're going to see that move up to $65,000 Bitcoin, man. It's on its way. It's it's only a matter of time. What is about listing on Grayscale um, that moves the coin so much, e.g. BAT? Well, Grayscale, uh, we know they accumulate on a large scale like over and over again. And they just keep buying. Like every week they buy a lot. So once you know they're going to accumulate a coin, you know that they're going to buy a lot of it. And if someone buys a lot of a coin, like billion dollars, and they have a lot of money, like... Daddy. Thank you for the thumbs up. I love you, sweetheart. You have a text message. 
Thank you, baby. All right, my love. I love you. Thank you so much. Okay. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for coming on in. Hope you're going through the motions. Hope you're loving your life. Okay, so Bitcoin, I believe. Look, I showed you it has this much more room on the stochastics. That's what we were doing too on the four hour. I was showing you how much more room Bitcoin could go up. We took a bars pattern from this pattern to this pattern. And we showed you basically where Bitcoin could be going. From this area to this area, we took a bars pattern, brought it over there. Unbelievable what can happen to Bitcoin. Now we're looking at the daily just to give you a bigger picture. And it's curving to the upside. So we're seeing a lot of movement. One hour looks good, four hour looks good, daily looks good. It's been a long time since I saw all three looking good like that for Bitcoin. Unbelievable. Now let's find out what's happening with the altcoins, all right? We're going to look at Bitcoin dominance. It's going to tell you really kind of... Now, a bunch of altcoins are going to squeeze through. In a bull run, now in, in a regular run, like dominance really crushes almost like 99%. In a, in a bull run, um, viewer, YouTuber, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate that. Yo, shout out to the love out here in the world, man. There is a lot of love out here in the world if you can just accept that love. There's a lot of love. I'm really serious, man. And I'm here willing to open my heart and my mind to you guys. And I'm feeling the love. Like whenever you open your heart, like I can't believe how much love pours in from the world. And we could look at the light. We could look at life like that and really run off that adrenaline alone and realize that we are here for only such a short time before we pass away. And you're only as powerful as what you give away. And that's really what it's all about today on the live stream. So, guys, let's move into Bitcoin dominance after I preach myself off of the microphone. And uh, we look at Bitcoin dominance right here. And you see it's going up, down, up, down, up. Coming back down off of the bottom of the trend line. Might want to make a little bit of a bounce. Uh, look, it's starting to curve here too. Might want to follow Bitcoin on a bit of a move. So, Bitcoin dominance is telling me eh, 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 I might follow Bitcoin a little bit, especially on the daily here. Okay? We are curving down here. And I told you we could double top up here just like Bitcoin did. So it looks like Bitcoin dominance can come up here. What I want to see, looks like it's going to skirt up to about 63.15. Not going to be good for all coins. It's going to take a little bit of a pinch. USDT pairs will do better in this situation. Someone asked, when do you trade USDT? When do you trade BTC? Well, you want to trade USDT when Bitcoin is pumping. When Bitcoin starts to go sideways, you want to trade BTC. Why is that? Well, when Bitcoin goes up and your coin doesn't go up as fast as Bitcoin, the only thing is, a lot of coins are moving pretty well right now, 5, 10, 6%. And if Bitcoin makes the move, or if even Bitcoin dominance makes the move, it's only going to bring up Bitcoin maybe by 5, 6%. And that's a huge move for Bitcoin. So hopefully, as long as your coin goes up by more than 5 to 6%, you're going to be okay. You're going to be matching the level that you need to be at, and your BTC pair is going to make out in the end. Um, shout out to anyone that got into BZRX. We're talking about that show. When you look at this double bottom forming, about to break to the upside and continuing I see some big things for the BTC pair. You can see it's triple bottomed here in a bit of a way, and it's probably going to start breaking out. So just want to look at that too as well. So we'll take a look at, so when we go back to Bitcoin dominance and summarize it for you for the day, it's looking like it could be a tough day to trade altcoins. Uh, look like we had a nice pump yesterday and woke up to some good gains, but it looks like that we might have a little bit of a tough time throughout the day. This is trying to push to the upside. I don't want to see, it could get rejected by these moving average. We're also seeing a bit of a golden cross happening right there. So just watch out. Bitcoin dominance looks like it wants to pump. Looks pretty obvious it's going to get up here to the top of the trend line. So 62.93, it's not going to be the best thing. Thoughts on why Bitcoin will not continue to trend down short term. 52 viewers in a stream with more value than channels with 5K viewers. People's minds is messed up. Um, he did a vid on Safe Moon yesterday and this morning. Love, love, love. What do you think about Safe Moon? Yeah, just watch the video on Safe Moon. That's really the best suggestion. You're going to get so much more than me just talking about it for the next two seconds. Yeah, watch the video. I just put it out this morning. And it's pumping, man. It came out. I'm going to hit 1,000 views. It's telling you how popular. When you see a video of mine pumping, it's telling you that the, the coin is pretty popular. It did go down 50%. I bought in at 9. It went all the way up to 18, 20. It went back down all the way back to about 9 again. So it's, it's playing games. And I'm telling you, it's very high, high risk. It's high, high risk. In my opinion, it's the, one of the riskiest plays I've ever done. So, in my opinion, that's, you know, like like you put it in Atom or any one of these coins, like you're guaranteed to return. This one, it's like, I don't know if there's really, you know, <clears throat> and I guess nothing is guaranteed. I shouldn't say it, but there's high probabilities that you make money, right? So, Bitcoin dominance looks like it wants to come up. Look a little in one hour. Let's see what we're seeing. One hour also low on the stochastic. So, it's everything points 
even an inverted head and shoulder there everything points to dominance moving to the upside today so showing you that it's going to be a bitcoin day it's going to be a bitcoin day for sure okay now let's take a look at total and total two and then we're going to get to your super ticker time and i love that man we're going to get into your tickers we're going to talk about what is hot i'm going to show you some nft plays that i'm thinking of doing and we're going to make it mix it up a little bit all right we'll also do some deep dives with you if we hope and we'll see where we go shout out to everyone that got into ziliqua been talking about ziliqua pushing ziliqua told you ziliqua was in this beautiful cup and handle and it was about to break to the upside i see a target for ziliqua all the way up here okay at about 27 cents so ziliqua not even close to done yet just getting ready for a bigger move waves man my baby waves we'll talk about waves in a little while i don't mention it enough but i think it's time it's been consolidating and i want to show you what i think is about to happen to waves so we're going to clean up this chart we're going to show you some support and resistance we're going to show you how i would look at a chart from the beginning to the end and get myself into a trade if that is something that really gets you going get your goat going uh we're going to get into waves and we're going to show you waves as if like it's going to be like a mini tutoring session with waves so stay tuned for that stay tuned for that that's going to be super exciting that's going to come up in a second so now we're going to look at total and total two this is the entire market now i showed you we were in this pennant um i suggested there's a chance we came back down but this double bottom here in interaction with the 200 day moving average on the one hour suggests that we are actually in this pennant now this ascending triangle we have made our way i believe we'll, we'll bounce and bounce and bounce and break to the upside i'm telling you right now i see a huge wave for the altcoins on their way like something insane this music really plays into the feeling right now i really like it how it's kind of creeping up in the background we see a big wave coming for bitcoin it is flowing and all coins bitcoin's going to rise up to 65,000 it's going to sell off back to 60k do a nice little sideways movement that huge chunk of billions that came into bitcoin is going to flow into the altcoins we are going to see in my opinion a very large move in the altcoins the one hour suggests that we're about to pop to the upside as well in total which is the entire market cap i also showed you we could double top up here and we're just getting started with the momentum same as with the daily the daily is curving in this middle area i told you i haven't really it's rare to see that when we see that was right here on on total two we saw it right here and that's when we had a massive pump to the upside look it started right here i can't make this up it started right there and that's where we had a massive pump let me zoom in for you to show you how massive of a pump that was just to kind of really make things clear for you like that right there the turn in the middle we're right there we're doing the same type of thing on the stochastics rsi i'm showing you i'm positioning you guys bitcoin i'm telling you total market cap everything is in the line total is in the line bitcoin dominance is in the line and total two now let's take a look at total two which is all of the altcoins altcoins is doing the same thing and i'm telling you they want to rock they're getting wedged up they are running out of space they are curving to the upside on the daily okay they are kind of basically double top triple top up here i can see them breaking to the upside then cooling off when bitcoin does that roar and then they're going to really take a move so today is uh thursday friday saturday about by monday by next week into next week you're going to see the altcoins start to make a rip i mean this is what the oscillators are telling me also the one hour today shows me that it looks like the whole market's going to move together bitcoin and the altcoins we're going to see some movement today the one hour suggested on all time frames so there is the whole market in a nutshell for you guys bitcoin bitcoin dominance total total two all right and this is really what i'm talking about here this is really what it's all about so i want to try to play a theme song every day right where um and it's um a song i wrote light the mic up okay and just a hype a crazy cool song and and this is going to start super ticker time all right so we're going to get into the super ticker times man and i want to get you guys excited i want to get you guys ready so here we are we're on our way and we're gonna get in. We're gonna get into super ticker time, my friends. All 
All right, here we go. Super ticker time has started, guys. Get it ready. Get it going. And we're going to start doing tickers like you wouldn't believe. The screen's back. Don't you worry, man. Don't you worry. Um... <clears throat> Do not write pure scam in my list because you will be taken off the chat because you don't know what is a pure scam or not. And to say something like that is rude to the creators and the people that know about it. So I'm sorry, Eddie, but I had to delete your messages, man. Just don't gamble most of your money. I said it on the live stream. I said it on the video that I made. Watch my entire video. Um, exactly. Thank you very much for saying that, Jossel. Appreciate that. Um, all right, so let's get it going on to the tickers. Let's see what tickers you guys have been asking for. Let's continue to do some tickers and let's move on with the live stream. Also, take a look at the dollar index real quick. I just want to take a little gander at it before I get into all the tickers. Just slipped my mind. Want to check the dollar index because we should check the dollar index every day. See what the dollar is doing. So the dollar making a bit of a double bottom. Look, but beautifully fell out of the pennant. Look, I had it in a beautiful pennant fell right out that's a bearish retest right there classic bearish retest i can't wait look it's starting to dump right now perfect place to dump the dollar looks like that's what they were doing look it dumped came back for more that is a classic bearish retest with the one hour on top so look all of crypto is down here ready to pop the dollar is ready to drop stimulus came in and people just dumped it everybody sold it whoever got left with the dollar is trying to get rid of it the dollar is like a hot potato now um every day it's going down like it just people just like oh oh you like the second you get your money i got my stimulus money i found out i had it i've got it i put it into the graph immediately the graph token i'll be honest like i'm not even lying with you i put i put up you know everything you know i gave my wife what she wanted and then i took my half and i put it into graph all right so let's get into the two the tickers now Okay, <clears throat> first ticket up on the up on the screen right now is going to be DSLA. Thank you so much, Mohammed, for asking about DSLA. DSLA was asked about on the channel. You guys put it on my radar. Uh, let me bring the music down a little bit. You guys put it on my radar, okay? And uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at DSLA. I always try to put your um, your ticker too. Uh, wow, DSLA on the move against ETH too, nice to make some ETH, right? As you know, ETH is moving. Now look, we had DSLA in a cup and handle, okay? When we went over it, it looked like it was about to pop and go all the way up here to this higher level. Look what had happened. It went past my target and some. Now let's take a look at what's happening with DSLA. Um, it's extremely bullish, I'm telling you. We're about to see a giant move in almost a, in almost every one of these coins. Like, uh, it's gonna be fish in a barrel time. What does that mean? It means, uh, fish in a barrel means fish are jumping out of the water so much you could literally just put a barrel out and catch a fish. You don't even need a rod. And it's gonna be fish in a barrel time season. And that's why I wanna tell people who aren't in crypto, who are scared by all the ins and outs by it, who, who have a hard time understanding it, who who don't know how to you know get in. And look at this beautiful double bottom here. And then another W right there. This thing is extremely bullish on the one hour. Extremely bullish. And look, it's down here on the Stokes. I see this just curving down and curving to the upside. Now as well, what do we see that we always talk about on the channel? Swing up to swing up. One of the most highly angled moves I've ever seen. Wow, this thing is poised for some hot gains. DSLA, man, is ready to rip. I'm telling you right now, I know it already ripped. And you might be like, well, I, I, I don't want to get in late. Do not worry. This thing is poised. Four hours ready to rock. One hour is ready to rock. Daily might be a little hot. It is, but I see it curving to the upside. You know, we're going to see. We're going to watch this closely. Daily suggests we could be coming to the downside, but not before a pump on the one hour and the four hour exists. They, they're telling you they need a pump. So the one hour and the four hour are looking juicy to me. I see a target up here for DSLA at about 74,815 Gwei on that move right how much guay can you get we don't talk about guay enough no one says guay it's always about that gas been trying to get friends and family into crypto for over a year and they still are skeptical i agree man i agree dago snx we'll take a look at all that stuff reef dollar usd used for toilet paper man reef really it is yeah it really is man so dsla i see this moving up guys this is a, tra a trade i think i'm taking i believe i'm gonna pop into this trade i like it right here okay I'm going to have to write this down and add this as a call on the channel. DSLA.
I'm going to put that out for everyone in the charts and calls only. This thing is about to move, man. Look at it. Look at the one hour. It's poised for gains. I mean, every look at lack of um, bearish momentum here on the MACD. About to turn up on us. I mean, you got moving averages doing their thing. 21, curving, crossing the 50. Everything that I talk about. It's my checklist. Are we in a bull pennant? Are we in a bullish pattern? Yes. Are we near the bottom of the pennant? Yes. Are we in the last 25% of the pattern? Yes. Is the MACD turning bullish? Yes. Is the stochastic is the RSI, stochastics RSI, you know, oversold, ready to rock? Yes. Is the RSI in a good place, not overbought? Yeah, it's it's a little high, but it's pretty good, man. It's good as good as it can be. It's also, is it in a bullish pattern? Yeah, even the RSI is in a bullish pattern. I can slip it in to a bit of a pennant myself. So that's what I'm talking about. This has all the confluence that I go through. Are any moving averages turning towards other ones? Yeah, the 21 is turning to the upside. Is there any divergences? Do you see any divergence? Yeah, we established hidden bullish divergence right here. With all that together, I see confluence in my checklist, and this thing is a go. So now everything that I've ever done for a living and all the things that I figured out in my life as a trader have all been answered by DSLA to ETH. I'm telling you guys right now, this thing is poised for gains. All right, let's get on to the next ticker. Thank you so much for that awesome ask. I really appreciate it. Matic. Let's take a look at Matic as well. Mohammed asking for Matic. Thank you so much, Mohammed, for asking about Matic. We all know this, and I bring it up almost every day on the channel many, many, many times. We talk about how if you make a pattern, okay, and you end up interacting with the 200-day moving average towards the end of the pattern, there's a high probability that that is the end, especially look at the double bottom off the 200. I see this too much. It's textbook. It's been too easy to hit these bottoms, and that was your perfect place to buy, Matic, at about 35, and we're at 39, so think about it. You're going to be very close to the previous bottom right now getting on in, and I think Adam is really poised for some huge gains. It's already making a bit of a flag out here. It's going to probably consolidate and still break to the upside. I'm going to show you your bigger target for Matic. You could take the length of this huge pole. And this is where Matic is going, to, is going to end up. So Matic on the way to about 67 cents. And then you know what's going for that dollar, man. So right now, you know, you want to look back and see Polygon with its scaling abilities, what it does, changing its name, you know, getting a little bit of a rebranding and moving forward. There isn't a person that's not talking about Matic. They're talking about Matic this morning on the Tokenomics channel. Other people are talking about Matic. I was talking about Matic and trading Matic since how long, guys? We've been trading Matic here since last August on the channel for over a year. So, yeah. Um, thank you so much for your tickers. They're going to get added to my team. So, Drew Durant, Crow will be added to the list. And I'll end up going in to what you asked for. So, thank you so much. Um, an alternative to Safe Moon, but equally super high risk is P Dow and has performed better. Um, thank you so much, man. I appreciate that. Um, been trying to get friends and family into group. Yeah, Safe Moon. I don't remember the 70% crash in Matic early days. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, remember that? Oh, remember that? Huge crash? Like, yeah, 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 yeah. There was the Matic FUD or something. Oh, my gosh. You just reminded me of that day. Oh, my gosh. I remember that day. So yeah, Matic doing its thing, forming a higher, a new trend too as well. So I got a call out for Matic as well. I'm going to put it in this channel here. I'm going to write Matic down. Matic is a big call for me. I personally don't have any Matic right now and I'm like kind of like figuring out, damn, I think I'm going to figure out a way to buy some Matic at this point. It is on Coinbase Pro, a lot easier to, to nab it up, um, right? So Something I'll have to get on today is to get my Matic bag in order because that's a bag I do not have. And I believe it's a bag I need. And I should have had it a long time ago. I'm really beating myself up, but I'm not going to do that. It's okay. Matic. Just going to go with what works, man. Matic doing its thing. All right. I found out three Europe stable coins, but they have rather low market cap and volume. Do you think it's safe? I don't know, man. I'd have to do a deep dive. I don't know. Possibly. Possibly. Vidit and Datalink, two hot coins, man. Two hot coins. This was like a pumping. I want to get back to the pump here. There we go. Funky little pump music. All right, so continuing on with your tickers, man. Shout out to JD, giving the tickers in the back end. You're the man, dude. Without JD, I probably wouldn't be able to do this as neat and as amazing. Reef, Robbie and XRP Muser asking about Reef. Let's take a look at your Reef ask. We'll get into one inch and in two in a little while. I know you guys want to look at one inch. Everyone wants to know what's up with one inch. Why are you playing games one inch? But look, 
Slow breakout. I trust the TA. You keep complaining about the dilution. I trust the TA. We're going to make it up and out of this channel. And we're going to continue to break up. So I'm trusting the TA on our way up to the higher sell zone. So we will get there, man. Matic is an undervalued project, in my opinion. Extremely undervalued. All right, now moving forward. Moving forward now. Okay, I got a copyright claim because I'm, I probably played my own music there and I just want to make sure it was all right. It was like, oop, copyright claim. Thank you, sir. Drew Durant. Anytime, man. Anytime. Thank you so much for the super chat. Who is? Get, come down here right now. No way. The, I have a new couch coming. They say it's coming in 10 minutes. Damn, man. I might have to cut the stream short for the couch. That's horrible. But I've been waiting months for this. Months. Okay, guys. Um, what's your long-term view of Chainlink? Chainlink going over to set over $700. I believe it's a $1,000 coin, but I don't want to hype, hype, hype. You know, people will call me a moon boy because they don't realize where it's going. But yeah, Chainlink's going to do some damage, man. It really is. I see Chainlink doing serious damage. That's a dodgy coin, dog. Wait, you didn't go to school today? No, I'm on my break. But you went to school, oh, was pajama day at school? No. Oh, but you just love your pajamas? No, I'm just All right, let me do my tickers, baby. Let me, let me, I gotta feed the need. Okay. Gotta feed the need. All right, let's take a look at Reef for everybody here. We're gonna run off to Reef. I am doing mostly Bitcoin pairs lately, too. I want you guys, I want you guys to understand that. Bit important for me. Really upset with Reef, man. I had it in this beautiful cup and handle. It was doing like everything does. It was going to hit my target. And it was on the way. If he didn't allow me to fud us like a, like a fool, man, we'd be all right. So you know what? I'm going to look and I'm going to re... I'm going to kind of change reef now. I'm going to get rid of all my stuff. And you'll see this is how I assess. All right. I'm going to assess where we're at now. Now we're in this channel. Have to assume... 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 I have to assume... I have to assume reef will stay in this channel. Okay, this is my idea here for Reef. And I just came upon this with you guys right now. This is how I went. This is how I do my, my, my thing. Come back to the top of the channel. Maybe come down and then hopefully break to the upside, right? So, and that's a giant cup with like an upward motion handle too. And we could take the length of like the pole here. Slap it on its projection. So I'm just... Trying to get a handle of what I see here on the one hour for Reef. And this is why they call this an art. They call technical analysis an art because there's an art to it. Like, and not everybody does it the same. Like, not every artist paints the same, right? Some people are similar, but not everybody paints. Like, not everybody comes up with their ideas in the same mannerisms. But, like, I work these charts over and over again for a living. And it's really kind of, you know, what I see happening. Again, we're also starting to make some support and resistance lines. And all we have is what we have here because we had the wick to go on before. That's why I was so hype over here. We had really no support and resistance of previous, you know, price action to deal with. And that's actually a really a good thing in a way, right? That is actually a good thing. I realize I should zoom in a little bit, right? I was thinking of that the other day. Um, I don't mind zooming in a little bit. That was cool, right? The way it moved it, camera. Not that far. Not that far. That's cool. Little headroom. I am wearing the new Crypto Lifer merch. Which you can order online in the link below. Get yourself a Crypto Lifer hoodie. Become a Crypto Lifer. Let the world know that crypto is your life. I got one that says banks are for robbing on the back if you want to go that far. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, uh, remote uh, Reef is at 039. Still up from our buy. We got in at about, you know, high high twos, low threes. 
and we were accumulating down there but um i see reef moving on to the upside let's take a look at the oscillators and see if they're in our favor one hour is curving to the upside saying it's done kind of with a bit of a double bottom that's suggesting that we are moving to the upside let's take a look at the four hour two after the sell four hours just getting over to the upside here let's take a zoom in though is that curving to the downside no a curve down and then flip back to the up take a look at it for you guys in the middle here yeah and make sure you can you really see that um can you really see that here look at that that is beautiful right so yeah looks like we're ready for some big momentum on the four hour to say the least to say the least so that's bullish despite the news i don't really look at the news i just look at the ta man and i trust the ta so but despite i mean one time someone says it's all ta we did just drop here now we were going to drop to the bottom of this pattern at one point we really were we we're going to go up down up down and then slowly come down so honestly that may have just saved us some time and got us there quicker now we can get to the upside faster so that's just one way to look at it let's take a look at it on the daily daily is overbought oversold and that's a great sign so it's telling us this is probably going to start moving to the upside as the daily pushes up it means that the oscillators on the one hour and the four hour are going to oscillate but they're going to oscillate to higher highs and i'm very bullish on reef and i see reef going all the way up here to about nine or ten cents and we're going to triple x our money on that one so shout out to anyone on reef and thank you guys so much for the call on reef i like reefer i do too man um thank you so much for saying that Corona, uh, Chainlink is being used for COVID pass, digital passports, next reset. Uh, don't support it ever. Sure, it's money, but it's not good for mankind. They're going to get us anyway, no matter what they do, man. Um, loving your video on Safe Moon, bro. Grab myself a small amount for the high reward. Yeah, you never know. You never know, but be very careful. Balancer chart looking amazing. Thank you for telling us that, D. Harrison. What's your long-term view of Chainlink? Yeah. What do you guys think ADA will do today with the Coinbase Pro listing? Um, I think the pump already happened. Um, you might actually see it go down today. A lot of times the day these things happen, they go down. Um, we'll take a look at the TA and I'll tell you what the TA says. I'm not really going to worry about that news. Um, damn coins be moving like a Mortal Kombat cheat code sometimes. Hey, you got to stay on point. You got to stay on point. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Thank you guys for jumping on in to the live, man. Really appreciate it. 69 people watching and we're going to keep it moving every single day. All right, 49, people, 49 likes. Can we get the likes up to the watchers? Hit that like button. Sometimes I know you're in awe. I know you're just like sitting here. You're like, oh my God, I can't believe the energy. I can't believe the vibes. But please, please, by all means, hit that like button. Let me know. Send me that love. Let's take a look at Fire by Andrew Gibson. Never even heard about it. I want to see if it comes up. Fire for wrapped ETH. Fire protocol on Uniswap. Let's take a look at what we see for Fire. Fire came down, got boomed down. Now at the bottom. And if you were going to fi buy Fire, this would be the place. Daily. And suggesting that it actually has more downside, which is pretty crazy because it's already pretty down. Um, I think this is what you're talking about, so I hope I'm not looking at the wrong ticker here. Fire, man. I would stay away from this. And uh, I don't want anyone to think I'm going into this or I want to buy this at the bottom. It is at the very, very bottom. But this looks like a project that may have been rug pulled. Uh, I, I don't know, man. I got to... The TA says, hey, it's time to buy and it's going to move to the upside. So TA says you're going to get a V-shaped recovery to the upside on the one hour. 4-Hour also suggests it's time to turn to the upside as well, but the daily still isn't in your favor. I don't know. I could put it in this channel right now, and this is what it's doing. And it's a bit of a bear pennant because it came from the downside, you know? So, I don't know. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Thank you, sweetheart. Okay, baby. Uh, my couch is coming, guys, but I think we can still keep the show going. Like, I don't, I, I think we can still keep the show going. Okay, let's look at XLM. Okay. Are you serious?
Okay, they're moving the couch up. Okay, we ordered this couch a long time ago. So sorry about that, man. So sorry about that, guys. I am back. I am back, man. Thoughts on Lena and Binance Launchpad. They gathered 1.5 billion today. Market cap at 500 on Gecko. Traded on FTX, etc. Yo, Lena's gonna do some big things. Um, I think Lena is gonna be big. Dago might be a gem due to NFT craze. D Dago's already a gem. We missed out. It, it was, it's been pumping. Been on my radar. Haha. <laughs> I'm Rick James, but just go there and work things out. Turn off the live for now and come back when you're done. And if you still have time, turn the live back on. I think it's the best way, bro. No, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Things are good. Things are going well. Um, they're moving in and out and we're fine. They're just going to set things up and then I can come back down, finish the live, and then I can get in and look at the, look at the stuff later. Um, we're good to go, man. We're good to go. Um, so you're going to buy a couch chain? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, let's take a look at um, XLM now by William Agor. Thank you, William, for joining the Patreon. Really appreciate that. Sorry your name there in the email. Um, recognize it here from the live. Let's look at XLM on BTC. Or USDT. From Binance. Okay, we take a look at Stellar Lumens. Everything is in that same pennant. Oop, maybe I can redo that. Yeah, editing is in the same beautiful pennant. This is a call we had yesterday. I see it moving to the upside. You can see it's, it's running out of room. It's only a matter of time. It's about to go up 100% to 78 from 40 where it is. I see this making big, big moves. So shout out to anyone who's in Stellar Lumens, but... You're about to see some gains in your portfolio. I'm telling you that right now. So hold on to your Stellar because you're about to go interstellar into the moon, man. So shout out to anyone who into Stellar Lumens. It is coming up onto the four hour. I believe it will double top up here. Still has a little room to grow, um, you know, and it could take a few days for this to come to fruition. I'm not saying this is happening tonight or tomorrow or immediately, but I believe it's running out of room and it's only a matter of time, you know, and it could go bearish and fall out of the bottom of this pattern. And that's why you put a stop loss right down here. But we found the bullish divergence. We talked about it on the stream and you can see it's right here even on the one hour swing down to swing down here on the price and then we have swing up to swing up here and it only tells us that this is going to go to the upside and continue to the upside so this is what i see happening you know what i'm saying And you just let them move, man. You don't want to look at movers while they move. It makes them uncomfortable. Just let them do what they do. You know what I'm saying? Just let them do what they do. Hear them banging all around. It's fine. It is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, okay, now let's take a look. So I think XLM is on fire right now. Also, the one hour in our favor on a lot of these coins. You can see we're pushing up on the one hour. So it's suggesting that for at least this afternoon, it looks like we're going to get a lot of movement. In the altcoins, almost every coin is pointing to this. So, yeah. Um, okay, now we're gonna get to BTT USDT by Ralph Ralphiel Noda. Thank you for for putting BTT. This is a small coin you got free. A lot of people got airdropped if you own Tron. When Tron bought BitTorrent, they made a BitTorrent coin came out, and you think, wow. I mean, cup and handle. This isn't another yet cup and handle. You can see it right there. So we're gonna look at what we see here. Um, cup and handle for sure, guaranteed here. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am, right? So there's your cup and handle. I also see that it's doing this, which is forming a pennant. So now we're gonna zoom into the pennant and we're gonna take a look. The overall pattern is here, we're in good position. Uh, we had our consolidation move, so that tells me that the bottom is in. It's starting to move up and, and into higher highs. This is where a trend starts to form. This is where new trends begin. Again, we talk about this all the time, the 200 day moving average interacting with the bottom of the pattern. I'm gonna keep bringing it up until you get it through your mind and you use it to your advantage because this is how you make money you recognize the similar patterns over and over again in multiple coins and then you strategize around them and you use them this is going to go to the upside btt looking really really nice where i see it here okay be precise with all your movement be precise with everything you're doing here make sure it's tight and right and nice okay everything is maduvin yeah it is man you can tell it's going to be and this is about to make a big move as well. One hour is in our favor on all these coins. Four hours just hitting the top. Like they're all about to do the same thing. I could just, that's why I did total for you. It's showing you where the all coins are going to go. And you can see the four hours about to curve to the upside as well with a higher high. We're doing, this is about to do damage, BTT. And then it's going to go to an all-time high and continue to the upside. So, and this thing isn't even a penny, right? It's a tenth of a penny. 
So there's a, there's a lot of upside to this. You know, there's no reason not to throw like 100 bucks and let it ride. No reason not to throw 100 bucks on this and let it ride. So just something to think about. BTT, man, about to do damage. Cup and handle, about to blast, doing its thing. I mean, it's all there. It's all there. Take a look at the daily time frame. And the daily time frame actually is curving up below. And it's about to come below. Everything is here for us, man. Even though the MACD is turning, which I, it does worry me a little bit, a little bit of a cup and handle. Even on the, look at this, a cup and handle on the, on the RSI. I've never seen that like that. So this thing looks clean to me, man. Nice shit. I put a little smiley face for you guys. Right? A little like some eyes and a nose. Say, hey, what's up? You know, what's going on? How you feeling? Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, DNT, fun in Israel. Thank you so much for DNT. Hope you guys are loving how we're going through the tickers. Is this making you happy? Is this working for you guys? Are you liking this? Uh, just go there and work the job. So they're going to buy a couch. Patience, guys. Just a little break. Dem is just, is just jokes, baby. Um, uh, Adam is moving. You're able to check out FTM for me? <clears throat> this knowledge is priceless. You deserve way more views, man. Keep doing what you're doing. Shout out from the Northland, Northumberland, UK. Thank you so much, Chris O'Connor, man. And shout out to you. And shout out to a late a late St. Patrick's Day for you, my friend. Slancha. Slancha. Ah, tough for the Irish. Chris O'Connor. Out there in Northumberland. Thank you so much, brother. Just put it on for a bit. Okay. And tell them where to put the couch. Tell them it's going to go against the wall. You know where the couch goes, right? Okay. Move, the, move the table off the wall and tell them that the corner goes in the corner. Put my daughter to work, man. Be like, yo, just, just do it. Just do it. And this is how you kids get old, man, by telling them what, by just not, you know, not treating them like little kids. Be like, get it done. You get it done, my friend. You do it in a nice way, very supportive, but you make sure they're happy. And then you say, get it done. Now look, cup and handle for DNT. And look, it's in a smaller cup and handle too. I have this doubled up in cup and handles. And look, daily time frame is losing momentum right now. About to, Yo, this thing is about to explode. I've never seen so many charts that look insanely bullish. This thing is about to rip. Like, take your pick. Everyone's going to say, Lifer, thank you for the call. But I'm honestly, it's like, take your pick. You know, I could take credit for a bull run. Thank you, but take your pick, my friends. This thing is going to the upside. DNT, about to do some serious damage. Um, you buy here, and this is my checklist. All things are a go. Is the stochastic pointing to the upside? It is. It's not a, I'd like it down here, but it's ready to go. MACD turning up, and we're running out of room here on DNT. I could see this moving all the way to the upside, making big strides all the way up here at about 82% gain. So DNT about to do some serious damage serious damage um, and continue to the upside it's also got no resistance here really like nothing there's nothing over here there's nothing over here on the tether pair like look at this man so this thing is just like got no resistance it has everything that i talk like wow textbook um turning to the upside here on the four hour like every other thing we see and the one hour is pushing us to the upside i mean it's the same chart it's almost like we went over the same coin over and over again slight variations but Wow, we're seeing some big move. Chris Glennon, he asked for Pundi X, NXPX. Let's take a look at that. Thank you so much, Chris, for asking about NPXS. I want to start looking at these Bitcoin pairs. I want to, I want you guys to put in the pair, see what the pair was. But look, I see this in a beautiful cup and handle about to break to the upside as well. One hour is pointing up a little higher than the other coins, but double bottom on the one hour suggesting we're still going up. And this is actually lower. Remember, the other ones were here. So this actually has bigger movement coming. So I like what we're seeing here for Pundi X. Big move suggested for Pundi X. I see Pundi X breaking out and making a, about 110% gains at my target. It'll stutter a little bit at this previous high. And then it's going to make a move. You could sell 25% here if you want. Put it in another project and do the same thing over and over again. Let's look at the daily for it and see what's going on. Daily is pushing up too. But it's, it can still, it, that still has room to grow. As I showed you, big things can happen once we cross the dotted line. So I see this moving to the upside. I'm so excited. Um, yeah, Pundi X, man, doing damage. About to do its thing, right? Um, wow, so, uh, wow, we're getting through these, man. Um, I put a chart for BTT days ago in the beginner's room. 
Awesome work, Lifer. Love it. Thank you so much. Her, her voice, you could sell to Disney. I don't know. Thank you. Uh, DMT. <laughs> um, DMT. Remember? Yeah, have you ever taken D- diametatryptamine? I left my body one time. It was unbelievable. I'll be honest. Um, I don't suggest anybody do that, but I'm saying, uh, wow. DMT is un- insane. Uh, what the hell is happening with Ethereum? We'll take a look at Ethereum too as well. Try to run through these tickers. What time is it? About 11.38. Might have to cut the stream a little short today. DMT, my man. Yeah, man. You know, my man knows what's up, man. Yeah, that's probably what made me so insane. I mean, so insanely genius. <laughs> Calmly insane is the way they, they call it, right? Yeah, I see this still breaking up. to That was the dilution, a little bit of a sell-off. But be honest, the holders are going to outperform the diluters eventually. And it's only a matter of time to the value of one inch is shown, right? In the in the payment to the staking. So Okay, so we see now where we at now. We're at Ada. Ada, my baby, Cardano. I really need to see the BTC pair here and the USDT pair. I need to see both. So I'm taking a look at the BTC pair and look, it is ripping. I actually have a live trade on Ada right now in the BTC pair, and I'd like to show it. I this is what I said. I said I own Bitcoin. I said Ada is gonna go to Coinbase. And I said it would be stupid for me not to make a little bit of Bitcoin on my ADA, right? Like it would be foolish, completely foolish. So I opened up a trade on ADA right here. I opened up a trade on REN, ADA, a bunch of different things. And um, I opened up a trade on ADA right here for BTC, up 256 and up $41 already, just 30% and 18% gains. But why not just make some Bitcoin you know, if you got some Bitcoin lying around, you know ADA is going to pump. To me, it's kind of an obvious thing to buy some ADA for the pump and let it rock. So that's just something I wanted to talk about, something I want to bring up. Acro is moving. We talked about Acro yesterday, and we went over the fact that it was probably going to move. So look at ADA. The, the uh, MACD is just crossing on the daily, and it still has room to grow. This is just beginning. Look for ADA to get to my target all the way up here at 3,639 Satoshi. So this is going to make me some Bitcoin. I'm telling you right now. I'm excited to make more Bitcoin off of ADA to get more of a deflationary asset for my asset and use another fun asset to do it and go vice versa. So I really like what I'm seeing. 142 for ADA, breaking the all-time high and now continuing up. We're going to see ADA just to the moon now. I mean, this is beautiful. Or is it at the exact all-time high? Okay, so it it, it stalled out. It did not break the all-time high which is right there. It it got right below it. So we need to break that all-time high. We need to break this green line. But look, I gave this trade buy zone, stop loss, sell zone. I gave this trade a few days ago in my my trading group. Proof is in there in the timestamp in Telegram. So this is yet another call. I get to say this almost every day, but this is yet another call we gave away for free, for free. People are charging tons of money for this. We gave this call away for free. What I'm trying to do is make a bunch of people money and then i i want to do like a paid i want to i do want to do a paid patreon i do have a patreon like i'm not saying i'm not going to have some paid service because i want to do this for a living and i don't want to go to work and to do this for a living i need to make some income for off of it so in order for that to happen we need to create a system right but i'm going to give away as much as i can for free even once i start the paid services my live streams will not stop the information i give will not stop and as long as you're here every single day supporting my my youtube channel your gains will not stop Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, none of this is financial advice. Please get yourself a financial advisor um, and make sure you do your own research before you get into any single trade. Okay, then we got, um, we're going to take a look at where we at now in the stream. Okay, I still need to do Digibyte from DeFi Taive. Thank you so much for the Digibyte ask. Uh, funny, I was trading Digibyte a long time ago, like five years ago. I started trading Digibyte. So let's get into Digibyte. We'll take a look at Digibyte. Uh, thank you so much, DeFi Ch- Taev, for asking me about Digibyte. We'll take a look at DGB. Bam. DGB for Binance on Binance. Um, wow. Doing its thing. Seven cents and beginning to break out. We told you we had pulled a Fibonacci retracement on it. We had showed that it went to the 618 inside the 0.5. I made a circle here. I said, this is where you should be buying Digibyte right here. I said, there's a double bottom. I said, that's confluence. I also showed you that the 21 day moving average was curving up away from this right at this point. Many indications. It was also in a bullish pattern. We also had the MACD turning. We also saw a hidden bullish divergence. There was multiple signs. Okay. As a trader, 
that this was going to do what it was supposed to do. Actually, no hidden bullish divergence. Yeah, a little bit of hidden. No, there is hidden bullish because that's a sharp incline and that is a lot flatter. So there is hidden bullish divergence, okay? Wow, Cardano on that pump now. Now it's actually pumping with the pump. Some days it gets sold off. Sometimes there's a sell-off, but this isn't that day. It's too much bullishness, and this is just adding to it. Cardano on the way to $2, man, I'm telling you. You see the target for Cardano. Forgot to say that, but the target for Cardano is $2.18. So this is just getting started, man, because we did the BTC target, right? Back to DG buy. Back to DJ buy. Back to DJ buy for you guys. Moving on to DJ buy. For the tether pair. So guys, I have these charts ready to go. Look how many coins I've charted. I spend hours and hours a day doing this. So I'm ready for you guys every single day. Put in that work, man. Put in that work. Now we're going to get into Digo by Mint Guy. Thank you so much, Mint Guy. You've been around for a long time. Love you coming into the live stream. Really appreciate it. This coin was hot. Just came out. Consolidating now. Even on the daily. Just from looking at this, there's nothing else. I know it's crazy. From this, I can tell you that it's actually this is a good buy. Isn't that crazy? I can see falling volume with falling price. That always tells me there's a reversal. Look at this. With nothing here. I can see this is forming a bull pennant. And usually a coin that comes out this early gets dumped on down really far, right? It has this big candle and gets dumped on. The fact that this is changing the momentum, changing the look, tells me that there's something up with this coin. I knew about this coin down there at 7, though. I should have already 3 x my money on this coin. It got put on my radar a long time ago. So, it's oversold on the 4 hours, starting to form the pennant that I just drew. Let's see. I was pretty close with my projection. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the MACD. We're going to take a look at the 1 hour. Even the 30 minute and the 15 minute, because this is so small, there's really not much to go on. Now, what's this is the same pattern that I talk about. It's about the, I call it the half cup and handle. And I started talking about it the last few days. I had to give it a name because I'm seeing it happen all the time. So this is the half cup and handle on Diego. And this thing is at the bottom of the pattern. That's where I purchase my coins right here every single time. Um, thank you so much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Um, second analysis on Safe Moon. Those drops are huge. We'll take a look at Safe Moon for you. Um, let's bring it up real fast on Coin Trader Pro. See, the thing is, I put my money in Safe Moon. I'm not looking at it for like two months. So someone's saying their drops are huge. I guess you just want to know. You're curious. But I don't I don't stress this stuff, man. I didn't. I put more money than I, I'd be willing. You know, this is good, man. Look, this is beautiful. This is a double bottom. You know, kind of hanging out at previous support area and it's back over previous support. We want to make sure we're above this line. There's a bit of an inverted head and shoulders. But look, double bottom here. Now we're breaking to the upside. And again, I'll show you something that I see a lot. You see cup, a double top, and then you see a double bottom. And just how the double top came up, the double bottom comes back to the top. This is a bullish sign for me. I like what I'm seeing here for safe moon. So don't stress. Take a deep breath. Everything's all right. Everything's okay. Everything's going to work out, and you're going to make it through this, all right? If you put all your money in safe moon and you're looking at it every five seconds, please take a deep breath. You're going to be fine, all right? Look, this is a falling wedge like we see and what we talk about. In my opinion, it was like this. And it broke out, broke down, and retested. You know, you could almost put it like that. Ah, look, we could put it like this too. Let me see. Ooh, I see this actually. Now I see what's going on. It's forming a pennant. Look at it, I find it. I found it. Look at that, see? Look. Look how I work a pattern. Look how I work a pattern, man. That's a, a deranged, strange, but as it is, that's a deranged, strange bull pennant, man. And that's going to break to the upside. Bam. And now it's also above previous support. Look how this thing is just mimicking itself. Wave after wave. Right? 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 
I just see this just just continuing, doing its things. Something like this, but making higher lows and higher highs when it does it. This is what I see. Okay, like this. And this is just itself, back on itself. You know what I'm saying? Bam. Okay, back to Diego. Diego, this is, I actually like this right here. This is where I would like to purchase. Coming down on the stochastics, turning to the downside. It's at the bottom of the pattern. Textbook place where I like to get into a chart. Really right there. Um, we'll take a look. We got some support and resistance too. We had support right there, bounced the previous resistance. If it breaks that line, it's gonna come back down to 15. So you can always leave some cash in the bag just for one more buy in case. Um, can you look at Divi coin? Um, I know all about the farming, but are you also collecting interest on Binance? Saw you can get interest on front and many other coins. Yeah, I do that all the time. Whenever I get a chance, I run into the interest as fast as I can, as fast as I can. Um, they just suggested a bunch of big interest last night at four in the morning for, I believe, um, EGLD or I wasn't sure but I believe for a, a nice coin so there's my projection for Diego Dago I'm going to tell you where I see it going probably end up putting out a, uh, a call for this and make this a separate video too but this is where I see Dago going man to the upside bam bam so I believe this is about to break out and go to the upside yeah What kind of gains? About 117% gains coming out of Dago. Um, did they finish with this thing? Yeah, um, later on today, I'll take you guys to the couch. If you guys, well, who wants to see the couch on the live stream? Who wants to see the couch? So later on today, I'll do a live stream on the couch from the phone. Just a little quick, we'll do a little quick discussion somewhere in the middle of the day, I don't know, four or five o'clock, something like that. I'll jump on the live. We'll do a quick little interaction live with everybody. I'll talk about it. I'll, I'll look for some cool coin and we'll talk about it and we'll have some fun. So Diego, man, right there. This is where I buy, man. I'm telling you, this is my buy zone. Screaming buy zone right there. Up, down, up, down. Coming to the downside. I see this breaking to the upside. 117% coming out of this, man. As long as you're patient and you know how to hold, hold, hold. Don't have paper hands. And I see, look, it's pointing to the upside right here on the 15 minute, which is really a, a bigger deal because it's so small the 15 minute has a little more weight than it would normally in a lot of other time frames so this is really where you're about to, you're about to get a, cro a curve up here on the MACD let's take a look at that MACD I'm zoomed in and yeah I mean I'd wait for this to curve it could be a little more downside I do see I just want to make sure that this top trend line holds but so far so good man I like what we're seeing and you could even put this in a pendant here even this is a shape right here inside of the shape See right there, and we're running out of room. It's only a matter of time we break to the upside in this shape and make this shape's just, you know, temporary target as well. So very bullish on this. Uh, I really like the entry. We're lucky actually we're getting to look at it right now because today it's in a really good spot on the chart. So there's another call. I'm gonna write that down. These are like, you know, almost everything is a call. You can see like almost everything is a call. Like it's up to you what you wanna buy and as long as you have the patience, you're gonna be okay. You're going to be okay. Um, all right, HTR. Hathor USDT on KuCoin. Let's take a look at this puppy now. Okay, this thing is doing damage too. I mean, you can see it's, just, it's, a, it's ready to go. It's coiling up. Only a matter of time before this thing breaks to the upside and really wants to start to make a move. Faked us out a little bit there. And I tell you, don't don't skip candles until you, you know you know how to skip candles. But like I've seen so many fake outs before that once I see one, I kind of start knowing what it is. But you don't have to skip it too. We don't have to, it's it's not good to skip information too. We could bring it in. Reason why I went to that high, maybe it'll have an issue too at that area. So, all right, so there we go. That's our pennant. That's what we're seeing here. And where are we? We're at the bottom of the pattern. This is what I talk about all the time. I mean, you can't beat this. $1.56 for this, for Hot Door. I believe this thing is going to do this. It's going to run out of room. It's going to break to the upside. I told you it looks like we have a big movement 
So then that's why we go over the big picture. Just like you have to go over the daily before you go over like another time frame. And then I think it could break to the upside pretty big. Let's see, let's see the target for this because I think it has a very big target. And this thing's been on a, just a, a clean trajectory. Look at this. It just makes pennant after pennant after pennant. I mean, it, it does the same thing over and over again. It makes a bull pennant, interacts with the 200-day on the 15-minute. Look at this. Makes a pennant, interacts with the 200, and the, makes a pennant, interacts with the 200. Where do you think we're going to go? Next pump, incoming. Right? Let's take a look at that one hour. This is what I see happening for this coin, man. I see a nice, long, long pull. Here's my trajectory on Ellie Wave Theory. One, wave one, wave two, wave three. About to break to the upside and go all the way, man. My target for this is $2.42. Hawthor continuing to go. I'm telling you, I'm a broken record at this point. Every one of these tickers looks like it's about to rip. So take your pick, man. I'm going to write this down. And thank you for your tickers because now I have so many calls to make. And this is how the live stream helps me make, move, make moves too because I'm able to give calls. Um, your own calls to go over after the stream. So we gave DSLA. It's up 80%. Um, Dago up 117% gains. Oh, yeah. that one. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, but, Dad, we, showed, we did go over Dago before, and we did go over DSLA way before. We went over DSLA and gave you that cup and handle about two or three weeks ago. So we gave you guys that trade. Someone asked me to go over it. I went over it, and then, wow, um, that thing continued to pump. So D. Harrison also asking about Quant, QNT. I hope you're still here on the live. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for going on, going in. Mr. Structure, I'm doing great. Um, can you look at DivCoin, please? Can you look at HBAR? Shawnee Bitcoin saying go... $100 for Dago. I believe it is. I believe it's going to go up pretty high. Um, no worries either. No risking a lot. So very excited. Okay, cool, man. Cool. Okay, so you're doing the right thing. Um, thank you for everyone watching right now. Really, really appreciate it. You guys are blowing my mind. 75 people watching. Um, can we get to the 100? We've been trying to crack 100 for a week straight, but we keep getting really, really close. I believe we're on the way. I believe it's only a matter of time. But uh, shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Um, Okay, cool. So let's take a look at ontology. Um, it's been doing beautiful things. Um, oh no, quant stamp. This is quant stamp. So sorry, I looked at ONT, QNT. Okay, so look, this is double bottoming. Whenever I see a giant double bottom, that tells me, you know, I'm a pattern trader. I I pay. I trade these patterns. I see them break out all the time. I also see a mini double bottom in the double bottom. You see that? Okay, so you want to take a measured move of this double bottom to see where you're about to where you're about to go for confluence bring that to the middle i like this track a lot if you ever want to make me happy produce a track like this this is hot this is hot futurized dreamy clear sampling so this is again just independent man you got to just see that you got to be able to see it to believe and it could come back down to the bottom of the pattern but this is this, this is suggesting no way, you know. Um, always sweet to get your analysis, bro. Thank you anytime, man. Just tuned in. Alpha looks good. Yeah, you do. Can you check burger? Is that still got room to go up? Yeah, I love my burger, man. Can we check the progress of alpha breakout, please, mate? Um, yeah, to break it up, just send the, send the super chat in to change it up. Um, no worries either. Risking a lot. Very excited. Yeah, shiny bitcoins. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, hey, you drep very small MC and news dropping in less. Hey, look up DREP, very small market cap, and news dropping in less than two weeks with NFTs. Look them up on Twitter. Uh, we've been we've been trading DREP for a long time, man. Um, I can give you a DREP trade that I made like a while, while back. Um, actually, let me see. In my, I believe I made a DREP call like on my profile like a long time ago. I know about DREP. I'll show you, man. I'm an OG, dude. I'm an OG. DREP has been around. We've been trading in and out of DREP since like it came out. I believe, I know I've seen it since the summer, man. Yeah, DREP's hot. Let's take a look at, I mean, I actually don't know what it does though. 
I've been just been training it as a small cap because small caps move when nothing else does. So I've been training it up. So we see a positional entry here and we can get all the way up to about $69 for quant stamp. Um, big, big positional coin, $45, $44.86 coin. But I see it going to the upside. I'm continuing to make a big move. So yeah, um, that's my positional for tar for quant stamp. If it doesn't break this line, it's going to come back down. You're going to be able to snatch it up one last time at about 35. So make sure you're ready because this would be a beautiful entry if you get lucky. And um, But that would negate this double bottom. I actually, no, this is a smaller double bottom. So that wouldn't be the target. Yeah, high chance you're going to get it, be able to get it back down here. I believe it's going to come back down to the bottom of the pattern first. I don't think it's going to go up yet. I think it's going to come back down. Then it's going to go up. So I think you're going to be able to snatch it up in this circle here. So look for that to happen. You can even put an alert, put a green line like this. This is what I do. And then I right-click the alert. And um, if I get an alert, I'll let you guys know, you know. So there you go. And that's how you do those things. That's how I do them. Um, make sure that it all works there. So. Okay, so cool. Um, can you look at B&B, &B, please, Cartesi? Okay, I just want to run through these lists. There's way more tickers that were given. Um, KSC, KuCoin shares, man, my favorite baby. I've been holding KuCoin shares for five years, man. Can you believe that? Five, and they've been paying me a dividend every single time, right? Like, we're just making money on our KuCoin shares. Chris Conlon donated $2. Thank you so much for the donation. Really appreciate that, man. I really do. Every little bit helps. I just had a newborn, and I want to do this for a living. Uh, it's going to be a tough road for me to get there to replace my old income, and uh, but I'm willing to take on the challenge, right? Life is nothing if you don't have a challenge in front of you. And I believe we can do it together, man. I really do. I have faith in the lifers. I think I can just keep putting in the good content, keep putting in the work. And I'm just going to keep my head down. Like today, I didn't even look at the viewers. Usually, I look at the viewers. I told myself, just don't even look at the viewership. Just keep your head to the, keep your head down. Keep your head down working. Just keep working. And, and, and the fruits of labor will come from the work. Just keep working, you know? So KuCoin share is going up about to 100% gains. I see this going up to 90. That makes me very, very happy. Because I own a, a nice little chunk of KuCoin shares and I've held it for a long time and I continue to pay my get my dividends on it. And I love it. Look, it's low on the one hour, about to make a move, just like almost everything else in the entire space. So KuCoin shares, this is a really good time to add 473. I don't think you'll get it much cheaper. Could come back to the trend line at 445, and that's about it. KuCoin shares about to do damage, about to make an entire a big move. So I just want to put that on your radar, guys. And thank you for asking me about KuCoin shares from DeFi Tev. Jesse B coming in there with his CRV BTC call. He made the call. He talked about it every single day. He gave you the charts. He showed you the cup and handle. We went over it here numerous times. Let's take a look at CRV, okay? BTC. It's popping, but it's having a little bit of a trouble. I believe the handle is elongated. So let me elongate this handle. Or did, Yeah, no, yeah, eh, something like this. I believe it's just finally breaking out of the handle, right like so. But look for this to do things, man. It's for the to do things. It's got the higher low forming. It's starting to make a move. We're seeing a bit of a golden cross happening here. They're getting jumbled up. Whenever the moving averages get tight together like this, it's tell you there's a move coming. Um, let's see the last time they got that tight was right here. And what happened? So tight moving averages wrapped up together, getting all squiggly, crossing each other, making a move. There's crosses happening. There's shorter ones going above longer ones. There's something going to go on. So look for CRV. BTC to continue to the upside. I do see a target here at about 1156 Satoshi from the 456. That's going to be about a triple move. Not really, actually. It's about about 130, right? 154% gains for CRV BTC. So hold on for your, it's just starting to make a move. These take three to six weeks. I'm telling you, you never know when the really true day is. It's going to really fully pop. But in the next couple of weeks, I'm showing you, man, that we're going to have a big, big move in the altcoins into April. As we move out of March, we got through the tough March, man. March is always a tough month, but Bitcoin did really good through it. Historically, it was tough and everyone was kind of creating some FUD. But you know what I thought too? I said, because everyone thinks we're going to have a tough March. We may not have one. You know, and I did bring that up on the channel that everyone's usually wrong. Let's check out CRO. CRO has been pumping lately. I've been hearing a lot about Crow, the crypto.com token. Um, let's check Crow on KuCoin. It's also on Uniswap, on OKX, on a bunch of different things. A lot of wicks on KuCoin. So here's our USDT pair. Wow, just long consolidation. It's forming the bowl, guys. Look, shoulder, head, shoulder, inverted head and shoulder broke to the upside. Okay, some things I'm starting to see now. 
I mean, I always talk about if you can put it in a bowl, put it in a bowl. This one's a little bit behind a lot of other coins. Um, a lot of other coins have already bowled out and started at bigger consolidation periods. This thing is really slow. Um, I don't know if it has a bigger market cap, what's behind it. Maybe they don't market it as much. You don't hear about it as much as well, too, you know. Um, you could almost put this and say this was the cup. Yeah, there you go. Now, now we're forming it. See, it, it even takes me a second. I have to work at this stuff. Um, and look, this is breaking to the upside, cup and handle, man. So there he is. We find, we find it. We find it. it. Always takes me a second, man. I gotta work with it, the price action, and then I start to see what's going on. And there you go. There's our immediate target, or you know. Within a couple, you know, within a few days to a week. And that is also initializing us with the all time high. And then we have really not much else to go on. So this could go anywhere, man. Um, shout out to Nate Todd. Love everything you're doing. Can you do a deep dive on Bitcoin Cash? Well, I'll tell you everything I know about Bitcoin Cash. When Bitcoin Cash came out, Roger Ver, right? It was a fork. I was owning Bitcoin at the time. It was August 2018, I believe. There was a lot of weird hype. Or no, I think it was. Might have been August of 2017 going into the bull run. It was. And everyone was saying, oh, you're Bitcoin this and Bitcoin that. And and I actually got scared. Bitcoin was at 7,000. And the miners were, you could actually go to a website called Fort.io and I could see uh, what the miners were doing. And I could see when the hash rate was going up. And some days the hash rate for Bitcoin Cash was higher and Bitcoin was going down. And they were battling. And people said Bitcoin Cash was going to flip it. And they were getting really close. And it was scary for a point. And um, I, at one point, did sell all my Bitcoin, and I transferred it to Bitcoin Cash. Um, there was a time when Bitcoin Cash went from like 600 bucks all the way to $2,700. It was insane. I rolled that wave, sold back into Bitcoin. Bitcoin stayed somewhat stable. I made a good amount of Bitcoin on that move. That was one of the biggest trades I ever made in my life when I first started out. Um, there was SegWit. Everyone saying SegWit was gonna happen for Bitcoin, and it was a big thing. And then when they stopped SegWit, it was just, there was a lot of controversy with Bitcoin back then, back around three, 6,000, 7,000. It was crazy. Every week you had to research what was gonna happen with Bitcoin and was there some other coin and was there a flipping in it? And so then Bitcoin Cash started to grow. So I saw this coin at $2,700. I know this coin very well. I've been buying it, trading it for a long, long time. So yeah, Bitcoin Cash has been a like, it's, you know, it's been in my back pocket. It's like, I'm close to it. I know it really, really well. Um, this is not Bitcoin Cash. Um, this is Bitcoin Cash, I believe, at $531. Okay, so let's do a little deep dive on Bitcoin Cash. I see it going to the upside, number one. Um, now, it's a fork of Bitcoin, right? And it is fast and it moves well, but I don't think it'll ever beat Bitcoin. And as much as Roger Vera pushes on it, I don't think it's going to be that lovely thing that everyone thinks. Um, but um, yeah, um, thank you so much, Nate, for coming on in and giving us that. And now we're going to look at Bitcoin Cash on the charts as well. Oh, no USDT pair for Bitcoin Cash. Not a lot of love for it. Oh, there it is. On Kraken, you can get it for USDT. I want to look at the Binance. Here, you, they call it BCHA on... on um, actually, this is something different. This is interesting. Bitcoin Cash. Has to have a USDT pair. There it is. BCH on Binance. Yeah. Okay. So I saw it in this crazy cup and handle. Thought it would break to the upside. Did not. Did not. We did have a buy zone and a sell zone. This played out. This pennant played out. See this mini pennant? So I just had this pennant. Look, it went right to my sell zone. 744. And then what happened? This is why my sell zones work very, very well. Very, very well. Then I projected maybe it'll go to the upside. It did not. Tanked absolutely tanked interesting too to see that i don't know if that was minor capitulation it seems a bit funny i think it was minor selling off to me in my opinion now it's form independent like everything else and now we see the four hour in the bottom of the pattern interacting with the 200 day moving average so bitcoin cash man yeah about to do about to do damage about to do its thing and about to break to the upside i can see this continuing i thought it would have been further up by now 
I suggested it would be $800 by now, but yeah, it's going to go up to about $945, and it loves to follow Bitcoin after Bitcoin has a big move. It used to follow Bitcoin a lot better. It's kind of fallen to the wayside. I'll be honest. I think there's so much other coins, so much other action. People just kind of forgot about this coin. No one talks about it enough, and uh, even I forgot about it. This is the first time we've talked about it on the channel, I think, in months. Bitcoin Cash. Yeah, I'm just, you know what? I'm not a fan. I think it's cool, though. It works really good and it moves fast, and I like it. But it's just not Bitcoin, and it never will be. And I'm one of those people that, that thinks that. And not everybody does, and, it, and there's always been that back and forth. And that's Bitcoin Cash in a nutshell, but I see it going up. I do. Here's the four-hour pointing to the upside. I, I don't. I, I see it really good. And we're down here on the one-hour, and the stochastic's about to make a move, too. So just like every other coin we went over, it's healthy, it's looking good, it's independent, and it looks like it's about to break to the upside. So, And it's at the bottom of the parent pattern. This is where I like to trade. Again, always use a stop loss, though. Just because I say everything's looking good and it's looking great, we don't know that for sure right anything could happen anything could happen a country could ban we could see fud you never know stop loss of five percent you don't need a lot because if it comes down you could even just make sure your stop loss is below this dotted line here that's 17 percent. you don't have to be that big maybe even just this this sec, this last one here and there you go 7.5 percent just want to always caution you guys on proper risk management not enough people are doing that every single day let's take a look at snx snx one of my biggest holdings i like snx i believe in it it's been straggling. It's one of my most uh, disappointing disappointing holdings. Look, hit the stop loss from my buy zone. Did not play out here, right? So let's take a look here right now. What's going on? One of the trades that did not work out, but I do see this. I do see this. I'm going to take a look at that one hour. I hope that deep dive was sufficient for you. Gave you a little backstory. Gave you a personal story too because I've been trading that in and out for a long time, man. Bitcoin Cash, bro. It's one of the staples. It's like the Big Mac. It's always there. Everyone's like, oh, I know Bitcoin Cash. That old chestnut. I'm going to go upstairs and see a brand new couch. This is going to be awesome. I'm going to live stream from it later on today. I'm going to show you guys the new couch. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, man. And I ordered it in August. And they kept saying, oh, it will come in a month. It'll come in a month. And then, you go, oh, because of COVID and the COVID, COVID, COVID. And uh, I never even got to find out anything about it. Put on my scuba gear right there. 88% gains coming for SNX. I see SNX making a big move. Nice double bottom here and nice double bottom there. Okay. What I also see for SNX, I want to show you this. Just want to get really technical with it. There's a bit of a left shoulder there. There's a bit of a head here. Okay. And there's a bit of a right shoulder. Which I believe is going to complete this neckline and break to the upside. So you could even wedge back in here. But that's the shoulder and I believe this is it. And it has a little more room to go. But SNX is running out of room just like every other coin. Uh, we're about to see a wave, man. About to see a wave. Only a matter of time. But it looks like... To me, and what the TA is suggesting, is we're about to see a major, major wave coming for us. Alt Spring is on the way, my friends. Alt Spring is on the way. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Thank you guys for jumping on in. Please hit that like button. 86 people watching. Wow, I finally looked at the likes, man. I just didn't. Want, I just want to keep my head on the grind. Um, um, what time is it now? 11.11 as we run through these tickers. More tickers than I think any other channel ever does. I watch ticker channels. The guys go slow. They're kind of like, they get through one here, one there. They do a few super chats. In two hours, I think they go through 12 tickers. Then they show you some other things and they move on. I mean, we just went through like, I'm going to make a count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, like 20. Um, we're on like the 20th ticker at this point. And we're going to look at Bal from D. Harrison. The balancer token. I know about balancer. I used to trade it all the time. I was trading it back when it was $15, $12. I have a projection on balancer right here. Look, it was in a cup and handle. You can see I made my beautiful cup. Half a cup. It was in the half a cup. It's the half a cup of coffee handle. Hey, half a cup. Half a cup of cup. Of, a cup of two. <laughs> so there's your half a cup, right? Came down into the wedge. If you go to the four hour, did we see the 200 day moving average acting in with the bottom of the wedge? Did we see that? Did we guys? Because I think I've brought up like, 180 times and I said I think this is where you make money and I said all you need to do is put the 200 day on and make sure it interacts with the bottom of the pattern on the full hour and I said that it breaks out and I think I've showed it to you 589 times in the last two weeks maybe 2,000 times in the last month I've gone over this so many times 
it's insane how many times I've talked about the 400 day moving average interacting with the bottom of the pattern and how that is a catalyst for a move to the upside. Even when I'm showing you patterns when they don't break out yet, I'm trying to prove it to you by showing you the last time we interacted with the 200 day moving average was down here, guys. The last time the 200 day was inside of a pattern. Okay, it touched, it touched, but when's the last time it was inside of a pattern on the four hour? What I'm trying to tell you is the last few weeks has been a bottom for these coins. And look, this is the last time the 200 had anything to do with the pattern. Like, you know, here, fine, it was in the inside the bottom. Like, but here it actually came inside. Like here, look, it just right where the pattern is, it happened to kind of touch. But, and then that was the beginning of a catalyst move. Where we would never touch that 200 again, except for when the trend changed and we began to train ch change trend. And look, double bottom, right? There's your W right there. And what happened? We started the break to the upside. So, in conclusion, right? Use this as the way to make money. Half a cup and handle. It's working just like the cup and handle, as we see. What else do we see now that I, that I talk to you guys all the time? Let's take swing high to swing high. Let's go to that same place here, swing low. Tells me that the trend may continue. Isn't that hidden bullish divergence on the four hour? I believe it is. It was right here too as well. Swing up to swing up. Okay. Even with the head and shoulder pattern. No way. It didn't matter. That's flat. That's up. That's hidden bullish. Tells you that the trend will continue. And we're getting another one telling me that the trend will continue. So I see balancer heading on up. And what do I use? I use moving averages. I use pattern trading. I use support and resistance and I use divergences. Those things combined will make you an exceptional trader. They really will. Like everyone else has their little in and out. Everyone does their thing. You can use Market Cipher. I've used it before. I have it, but I'm an OG and I've got this down. And as you can see, like numerous times, I can show you and back test you the things I'm telling you. Nothing I've ever shown on this channel is garbage. Nothing I've ever shown cannot be shown to be true throughout time and throughout back testing it yourself. I have never shown anything that I haven't found to be true on the charts. And again, I am not a magician and I am not that amazing. I am someone that just put in a lot of work, hours and hours and hours into the chart. I wanted this so bad that I put in so much effort. I'd be at work on the low. I'd be home. I, there wasn't a time I wasn't going on into a chart and it became my life and it's now changed my life forever. And thank you guys so much because I'm ex extremely grateful for every one of you that's here on the live stream. Um, Great dive. Joey to the D. Um, SNX moves, but lags. ETH, Walton Chain following V Chain doing its thing. Is Cardano already? We saw you. We showed you Walton Chain yesterday in a beautiful bull pennant. I mean, a beautiful cup and handle. It was about to explode. So, Balancer was also in a cup and handle. There's a cup right there, and there's their handle. So, is Cardano already training on Coinbase Pro? I believe it is. Thursday morning. I believe today is the day. Can you look at open platform? I hear a possible 60x is near future. The open platform, never heard about it. Let me write that down. Open platform. 60X, why not a 62X? No, I'm just <laughs> I heard a 67X is coming for this. Hey, hey, it's like you're in the corner. Some guy's like, yo, bro, come here. You like, he's like, yo, bro. I heard there's like a 67X coming, bro, for like 67.7X. 67.785x coming for this like this coin I heard about. No. Would you refill your bags now or maybe wait for up to 30% correction? On what? Um uh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. On Cardano? Um I don't think there's like well that's when I would look at support and resistance. That's a question of support and resistance. So that question could be answered. I want you to understand how to answer that question yourself, right? So let's show you how to answer this question. Would you fill your bags and wait for a retest? Well, here's, a, here's the thing. We're really close to all-time high. Okay? And that's not usually where we see a big retest. Usually we see a little stubble. And look, the next fine. Only place I think we're going to go is 124. I think that's the cheapest you will ever get Cardano again at this previous support. And I don't even know if that will happen. I go to the five minute and I look for a flag. And again, like we talk about, and this can, I don't care the time frame. These things happen to be true over and over again. So we take a look at this, right? Get out of here. 
So we take a look at this. This happens to me sometimes. It like it like think it gets stuck on a. There we go. All right. So what I'm trying to show you is, I went to the five minute. And I would be buying Cardano right now. Yep. Because it's forming a pennant on the five minute. And the pennant just did a double bottom off of the 200 day moving average. And we, we talk about how whenever the 200 day moving average is lurking inside the, the charts, that there's something pretty bullish going on. And there's also a double bottom there. I think this is about to break the all time high and then go for a big ride. To like 180 160 where i showed you and then that's when i would sell and wait for the 30 percent retracement okay um, i'm holding only so no point to wait for 30 percent dip when i know it will go 100 percent 200 percent 300 percent thanks for explaining anytime man 67.78x yeah yeah would you refer your bags now or maybe wait for a 30 percent correction um shout out to everyone here on the live stream thank you for jumping on in um please be interactive please send up some comments I guess you guys are just writing down these tickers. Um, we're going to go to um, Mana now. Jackman asked for Mana. Thank you so much, Jackman, for asking for Mana. And we're going to get into Mana on the USDT pair or USDT or the B. I like Mana Bitcoin. I want to see where it's going to go for Bitcoin because I want to make some Bitcoin with my coins. So I saw Mana breaking out out of this weird chart. Let's take a look at the one hour. Probably how I drew the chart. Yeah, so Mana was making this flag. And I believe it was a good flag. I liked what I was seeing, you know, a bit of a shoulder head and a right shoulder there, somewhat of a head and shoulder pattern. We're resetting on the one hour, just like every coin, 200 day moving average, interacting with the bottom of the pattern. Oh, bit of a half a cup of handle. We talk about a half a cup of handle. Balancer just did that. Is mana going to follow balancer? Looks like it will. Looks like we're going to see something like that. Let me clean up my pattern. That's no way to show a beginner how to draw a pattern. Um, Theta or Phantom, which one you see doing best in the near future? I think Phantom will make some more gains. Like, Theta goes up to 20. It's only a double X at this point. Phantom has way more room to grow. But they're both amazing projects. I wouldn't want to really even pin them against each other. They're both amazing. I think you need to have both in the portfolio. I own both. As a disclosure, I have a bag of both. So, please pump my bags. No, I'm just saying, you know. 77.84% for mana. I see it going all the way up here and hitting a dollar. 81 so man it could do its thing in this cup and handle and i could see it doing its thing it is over here too and it's low on the stochastics rsi i could see it moving four hour is suggesting that it's just purchase coming up maybe a little more sideways action since the two hour let's take a look at the daily the daily time frame is pointing to the downside but again i think we're going to get a curve up in a lot of these but you never know this could continue to the downside a little bit more it is a little overbought here on the rsi compared to others so watch mana closely i thought one dollar was a was a good price um now i have to look at like the one hour to really think thoughts on grt it seems like the price is really low yeah i just bought some grt we're going to talk about grt man it's kind of an indecision point for me it's hard it's hard for me to give it a perfect call i think it's going to come back down to the bottom of this pattern here i really do test the 200 at least you know something i think it's going to come back down to like 70 80 just getting this inkling that it, it, it's not ready to boom out but you know it is a wanted coin the one hour does suggest we're going to break out, though. So it's interesting. The one hour suggests we break out. The daily is a little, little sketchy right now. So it's in the middle. I'm in the middle for mana. And that's funny because I was able to pinpoint a lot of coins. So if I can't pinpoint it, it means that there's just... I'd give it a, I'd give it a breathe, I'd just give it a little bit of breathing room. Or I, I would accumulate right now. For instance, if I want 1,000 of it, I'd put in 500 now. You know, or 250 now. i just start getting my stake. Start establishing myself into the position. Okay. Now we're going to get into Phantom, as you guys ask. Phantom should be pretty easy. I already have a chart drawn, ready to rock, ready to go. So yeah, Phantom's breaking out finally. Or you could even say it's still in the pennant. But regardless, I believe it's going to break to the upside eventually. It's only a matter of time. We could take out the wicks there and just point it. And it's in this beautiful flag, man. It's doing its thing. And we pulled a Fibonacci on it as well to try to get our bearings, right? These are a bit distracting to me right now, and so is that. 
I also see hidden bullets divergence, which I know always, like 90% of the time takes care of me. That's why I see it on the daily. I just buy it and, and, and I walk away. Come back in a few weeks to money. It's very simple. Like your mind is and your emotions are what's going to ruin that trade. Nothing else. So there we go, man. Phantom. Ready to rock, dude. Only a matter of time. Breaking out. 37 was your low. We called the low on the channel. I said, I believe this is your bottom. 37, 34 area. We had hidden bullish divergence. We even have bullish divergence here established on the 8 hour, which is like insane. So if I go to the 1 hour, it's probably really going to be really hardcore. So we look. Look. Swing down to swing down. Swing up. There it is. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about, all right? Because there's a lot, there may be some beginners here that don't know what I'm talking about. So we're going to zoom in here and I'm going to really get in to how I buy bottoms, how I understand where the bottom is. I use the price and I use the RSI, okay? It's all about these two guys. It's all about these two, okay? It's all about the price and the RSI. And when I get a swing down in price from this swing to this swing, and I start learning, look, you can see the Vs. There's a V, there's a V. I take those two swings and I take the swings here, I compare them. When I see that this is going down, this is going up, it tells me that the price is going to go to the upside. I also see it a lot when we're making the bottom of a pattern. And I see this more and more. So I start establishing positions at these places. So let me show you how, how this works. So there's a swing down, a swing down right there in this little spot. Right? And there it is again. And everything I teach you guys, you could back test yourself. Like you could sit on the charts and get as good as me. You just got to sit there and do the work. And that's how you can make money. And then you start trusting this stuff. And you start knowing where you're at. And you start having a really good feeling about what's going on. All right? Then you bring the Fibonacci in, which is not hard to learn. It's, it's Alt-F and pulling from the bottom to the top of a chart. These guys try to look like they're so smart. Like, look at me and my Fibonacci level. It's like, dude... And look, we're at the secret Fibonacci that I talk about, the 706. We're bouncing. And that's like now we're in the golden pocket. We're in the golden pocket right now. The most perfect place to accumulate a coin in the history or, or any asset in the history of trading. So what do you think is going to happen now? I mean, I'm just, and we have the bullish nature. We're in a bull run. Like there's so much going on here to push Phantom to the upside. So I really like Phantom here at 40 cents. It's only a matter of time. You do not want to miss Phantom, man. You really don't. Ah, let's take a look at GRT for Scooble. Yeah, so I bought GRT at 175. It was the bottom of the pattern, 177. I believe this is your buy zone. I would never miss out on this. Same thing as Theta. It's about to break to the upside. It really is. Just like Theta in the same, almost a similar Fibonacci level, everything, everything. I deleted those yesterday. I remember doing it because I knew there was two when I deleted one just by the thickness of it. And I said that. I was like, oh, yeah, I knew there was two there. Any, anyway, whatever. It's weird stuff. But um, cup and handle for GRT. Look at it. Right? Not perfect, but you can see GRT, cup and handle, right? And there's our buy zone right here, Seven, 175. This thing was already three bucks. I got it at 30 cents, rocking it all the way up to you know, three bucks. I got out of like a, like a buck 10. I, it happened. I got added like five days later. I had tripled my money until, Ooh. And five days later I had tripled my money and I decided, you know what? That's a gummy. And I didn't, I didn't, you know, then the bull run started to really run. Can you look at Oak BTC? Never heard of it. Go there and promote this channel. Vampire attack. Um, um, I just go notification that BitBoy is starting his live. Don't even want to go there. His subs should come here. I guess I will just recommend you on his chat. Yeah, man. Thank you. Go there and promote this chat. Thank you. How would you explain the Fibonacci value when reading the charts? Can you look at OBTC? Fibonacci values? Well, they're already programmed. They're programmed in by the Fibonacci, uh, the great, by the great mathematic. And all you do is you pull the bottom of the lowest top of the price to the top of the price. So let's, let's take a Fibonacci on GRT as, as you're asking. And you find a place where we really began to pump, which is like right about there. You can even put a line there if it helps you. You get Alt-H, Alt-F. So Alt-H is the line, Alt-F, and then you sit on the line and pull your Fib. And bam, where do we come to the 618? 
and a lot in the in the idea is stocks like to retrace 61.8 percent and so your buy zone was 127 and 139 beautiful zone right there and now we're up in a new zone between the 0.3 and the 0.5 and that's usually where we start to find our new next double bottom and i'm showing you we have and we have look bullish divergence our friend that i just talked about swing down to swing down swing up to swing up I buy bullish divergence near the bottom of a pattern. It's simple, man. I do the same thing over and over again. I have a checklist for this that I created, and I just follow the checklist over and over and over and over again. I didn't have a chance to buy lean. It happened too fast. I was sleeping. Um, I didn't have the capital at the time. I ended up buying GRT. Yeah, I'm sleeping on this. Like, I'm going to wait for this thing to pop. I put my stimulus money in GRT, and I'm going to sell it when it doubles up. And I'm going to double my stimulus, and then I'm going to do some other fun stuff with it. So 440, 433, 420 is where I'm going to, I'm going to sell my stimulus money on GRT. Yeah. Yeah, it came in last night. I looked at it. I got the direct deposit. I went right to Coinbase, and I bought GRT immediately. Yep. Without a doubt. I wish I bought Luna. Um, Luna C Revive. Love that name, though. Love that name. So GRT, man, I see big things happening for it. And again, it has the one hour, the four hour, and everything else kind of in its favor, just like you guys were asking. Look at the daily. Daily is poised for a giant breakout. Look at it. Look how low those stokes are. They're ready to rock, man. So, yeah, this thing's about to make a move. Oh, I forgot one thing. Yeah, this is uh this was pushed in a little bit i noticed the other day so you can see the laser on the right side there we go okay cool um trt is going to theta for sure what happened to the sound what happened to the sound i don't know it's on you man sound sounded good okay cartesi burger nmm acro ctsi Wow, well, guys, I'm running out of steam. I'm being dead honest. I'm starting to run out of steam. I'm being dead honest. I need a super chat to kind of like get me going. <laughs> I gave you guys Cartesian and I talked about it. And I said it was going to break to the upside. I even made a video for you to show you that it was going to break to the upside. Um, it's now in a beautiful pennant. And it's about to boom out of the pennant. The pennant also has hidden bullish divergence. Swing down to swing up. Swing up. Swing, swing, down, swing up to swing up. Or swing low to swing low, boom. Swing low to swing low, boom. Hidden bullish tells me that the trend will continue to the upside. Following the trajectory perfectly, right? So we gave you guys this trade, man. It's And it wasn't a double bottom. I thought it would break out a little higher than that. Kind of just went to the wayside there. But I'll show you what I see. We gave you guys this trade. I made a video about it on my, on my, live, on my YouTube channel. And I talked about the cup and handle and I wanted people to understand like how much money you could make off the cup and handle because it breaks to the upside over and over again. And what I'll do is I'll make a recap to that video. I believe that would be actually a cool idea, won't it? Like I'll say, hey, here's a recap to the Cartesi video. Um, what do you guys think? You know, yada, yada, yada. All right, so here. Um, my mix personalized playlist and there's me in it that's funny right thank you shout out to everyone here on the live stream thank you guys so much for jumping on in we got to get the 3,000 subs by the end of the day that's my my goal can you please help me get there 3,000 subs by the end of the day we need it shout out to anyone running the safe moon video up to 1.1 thousand views you guys are the man i put it out last night at 1 a.m i stayed up in the middle of the night because I knew that there was a run-up in this idea, an idea, a run-up in the energy. And I should have put it out two days ago. Two days ago. So always capitalize, guys. When you have a feeling, when you have a movement, just jump on it and keep it moving. But here's the video about Cartesi about to blow. So as you can see. Hi, I'm the Crypto Viking. Welcome to my channel. Today I had a lot of things to kind of do lately. I want to start showing you what's happening in the crypto space. And I want to talk about what it's called. Superpower booster. Dude, it's bright orange, too. <laughs> it did it a little money in my pocket got me going man it got me going um but yeah so cartesi man look i gave it to you when it was just poking out on the video right there let's see how many gains you could got if you had just sold the top and if you're gonna ride it out 
So 52% gains out of that video. And if you're still in it, still up 26%, which is beautiful. Um, I'm sharing your channel even on my Twitter. If it had no value, I'd never do it. I'm leaving for a short time to spam a bit. Your value on BitBoy channel, 650 million subs there instantly. Um, legend. Um, take some juice, bro. Um, helping for checking my burger. Okay, let's take a look at your burger, bro. I love burger. I've been holding burger too. Remember, I put out a call out for burger a long time ago. And I really said, don't give up on burger. It's going to get a BUSD pair once people realize what's going on. And that day it does. Just like it's going to do a bake. So I'm just waiting on burger to get baked. All right. I'm just waiting on burger to get baked. It's only a matter of time. And there was my buy zone right there on the low too. And that was the low buy zone. Beautiful area, right? Um, LOL, $10 like Garana effect. Yeah, thanks, bro. I got BTC and ADA entries. And my fire protocol did it 2x. You reviewed fire for me a while back on a super chat, I think. I did fire earlier today. I hope I didn't do the wrong one because it didn't look too promising to me. But I, I could be wrong about that. Shout out to everyone here on the live stream. Thank you guys so much for jumping on in. Really appreciate it. So burger in the cup and handle. Burger in the cup and handle, about to do its thing. And yeah, I mean, um, yeah. Burger on the cup and handle. I'm working here, guys. Like, this is work. Some of the hardest work I've ever done. My abdominal muscles are hurting. Uh, Neblio, 17 million total ranked. 494, big room. As with Bobby, ranked 4, 604, only 659 million. 17 million total ranked. Yeah, Neblio could do some damage. I look at Neblio years ago. It's an old coin, too. I used to trade it a long time. I remember Data Dash used to bring up Neblio. He's like, I used to like Neblio. Data Dash. Nicholas Merton. Not, nice kid. Nice kid. He did a lot for the crypto space. So shout out to Nicholas for what he does. Data Dash, man. So yeah, I see this going up 116%. 161%. Burger to my buy zone. To my sell zone. Right up in that green box. And it's starting to break out of the buy zone. So yeah, I see big moves coming out of Burger, man. I really do. I really, really do. Um, Burger does something no one else does. Let me show you something that I can show you real quick about Burger. I believe Mr. Stiffy. I have an, a shout out to Mr. Stiffy. I have an unbelievable subscriber who's always like showing me an ama amazing stuff. And he's like, he hooks me up with information. He, It's really interesting what he does, man. And he always has some interesting coin or something new to look at. 50 bones, dude? Drez Nebar. What? You're the man, dude. Thank you so much. Is IUD, so don't get excited. Um, okay, Aussie dollars. Um, but thanks for everything you do. And best of luck to everything during the alt season. Cheers from Australia, man. Thank you. Yo, every little bit helps, man. A five bucks here, five bucks there. It all adds up. I'm telling you, man. It all adds up. I really, really, really appreciate it. I was super excited for this moment when we monetized for the first time about two weeks ago. And I really, really appreciate it. But I saw this article on Burger Swap. I'm going to have to find it tomorrow. But it's like, it's kind of about why Burger Swap is different. Why Burger Swap is really like something that most people don't understand. And how it can really, it's a, it's a gem, you know. Um, it's a gem. Right, I'm going to share my BSC gem announcements, okay. Join this channel. There's 7,000 people and it should be more. Jet Fuel and Turtle Dex. Jet Fuel has been around, did not rug pull, still doing well. Turtle Dex is coming to Jet Fuel. 5 p.m. Stake ETS for TDX. All right, so stake jets for tur for turtle turtle decks um, and earn fuel. Um, vaults coming soon. TDX transfer. I mean, I like the jet fuel user experience. I like the UI. I like the way it looks. Let's see what's hot today. So here's the top 20 tokens for today. Um, BNSC is up 677. Lena is up 191 percent. Flow is up 119 percent. Um, Brep, Rake, Walt, Polar, Super, Slime, Hoddle, uh, Borg Die, X Cure is up 25%. I put that on your guys' radar. We were looking at X Cure. We've been more riding that. It's continuing to make a big move. Um, I put a video out for X Cure. Let me show you where I was talking about X Cure, how I found out about X Cure. And I said, guys, I think X Cure is about to make a big move to the upside. Um, it was one of those quick videos that I that I make when I just have a feeling I know something's about to go. I don't have time to edit really. X cure curate low cap gem, you know. So uh, two minute video really fast too. I show you a quick little bit of TA. And let's take a look at what happened with that. Um, let's take a look at what happened with that because we got in at like two fifteen. $2, I believe $2.13 was my entry. 
So X curve, where, where is it at now? It's got to be, what, 350? 310, not too bad. So we're up about, you know, about 50%, a little more. Doing its thing. Damn, we missed Lena. Like, Lena was hot. And we knew Lena was going to be hot. That's the thing. I know what's going to be hot. And then, like, oh, I'm like, oh, I should have bought it. Linear, Lena, right? Up 81%. It's 21 cents. Now, is that the same Lena as this BSC Lena here that came out? I think that's just pegged Lena. Like, I think it's just going to have a different contract address. That's what they're doing lately. They're giving you the contract address. So you don't have to go to BS Scan and find it. Before, you would have to go to BS Scan a lot of times. Now, they're adding that here. So, you can... CoinGecko stepped their game up, man, in the last few days. Really interesting. But this is the hottest stuff on... And oil is up. I like oil, blue, soups... So a lot of big moves. What's BNSC? Let's take a look at BNSC. What is that? BNSC. Can't even find it here. Um, BNSC. Don't even know. Uh, we introduced Sakaria. New BSC exclusive. It's a token, yes. It's an NFT, yes. It's a break. It's a bake. Branded real world soccer ball. Yes. Um, trade NFT in AMM and turn NFT into a real world thing. NFT token. And look at that, man. Bake up in the spot. I like how they're bringing Bake around. Like, I think there's going to be some big moves for Bake. Um, can you look at the open platform really quick? Is TA available on this kind of token like Safe Moon and B Day? Yeah, what you do is you go to Coin Trader Pro, like I showed you, and it's free. Coin Trader Pro is free. So you go here, and usually this has everything you need, they can find it all. Um, and what did you ask? You asked for Safe Moon, so let's take a look at Safe Moon. So this is Safe Moon right here. And I gave you guys a projection, and I show you it's about to break out of this pennant and go to the upside. So I'm convinced Safe Moon is about to have a higher high and do some damage, all right, on its way up. Um, what else did you ask about there? You asked about um, B Day. I haven't looked at B Day in a long time. I did put a thousand dollars into B Day. I lost it all. I lost every penny. I'll be dead honest with you guys. It happens. It happens. I was up in here. I bought it around. I bought it when it was like two bucks and went up. I was up nice too at one point. You know, it was like 280 to 30 and we were mining it doing great. Now it's at the very, very bottom. Seven cents, man. This thing is done. It's cooked. I still hold it and you get the B gift and all that stuff, but I'm, you know, and I actually, I'm still mining it. Maybe I'll mine enough to get like half my money back and that's possible. I mean, if it's available because I've done some on B day and it didn't occur. I don't know what you're saying. Um, a to break in the all-time high soon. Yes, it is. 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 Thank you guys so much for staying in tune with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you for JD, man. Um, we never would have been able to get through these tickers without you. It would have been impossible. I would have been flopping and groping going back through the chat. It would have been almost impossible. Um, I don't know if I can get to the last few, man. Really, I'm running out of steam. It's 11.41 and I'm going to have to make a run. We're going to get into the news. We're going to get out of it. Um, we could look at Dusk and Drep. Cause someone brought them up. I'm, t I'm tuckered out. I'm tuckered out. At this point, it's going to have to take a it's going to have to take a super chat to get me going because I'm I'm tuckered out. And I'm not even trying to say that because it's like it's only because I'm morally obligated when someone gives me their money to like do the right thing. But right now I'm just exhausted. So it's like, wow, you know, um. But if you did do it, I would just be like, damn, I have to go do the right thing now because this is hard-earned money that someone earned and I'm not going to disrespect them, right? So that's why the Super Chat will get me to make a move. I'm like a, I'm like a bunny, put a quarter in. <laughs> but look, Dusk is at the... <laughs> uh, for the entries, um, Andrew Gibson. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. Thank you very much, Andrew. Really appreciate that. You mean the world to me. So let's take a look, man. Dusk, USDT. That's the top right there for me. You know, I don't see it going any higher right now. Kind of hit my target, right? Measured move. So anything could possible. Shout out to Andrew Gibson for donating the FOB on the live, man. Liver, could you do a quick drive into the future of CHZ? Okay, let's take a look at CHZ and where I think it's going. All right, CHZ on Tether. Let's take a look at it right here. Now, after we realize when these projects begin, they pump, and that's when people know about them. So we've known. I've been trading CHZ for a year and a half. So to me, it's an old coin, and I missed the boat. Okay, I got some weekly support for it. I got some daily support. All right, CHZ. Also, I said to, to ladder in in that zone. Um, 
Happy St. Paddy's. We had a good one, man. CAT off to a dollar. Yeah, definitely is. I agree with Andrew Graf Gratton. Uh, mix, mix. I hope you had a great B day yesterday. Wow, you got a good memory, Robert. You're a caring man. I hope all the old people that you're taking care of, Robert, are okay. And I, th I hope everything's working out there. So I said right here would be a great place to ladder in to the buy zone, meaning like in the green area, not right there, but in the green area. If it came down, we came right down in there, we came in here, and it's still in my accumulation zone, but it's going to be breaking out soon. And I don't think you're going to be able to buy this any cheaper. 62 cents. It bounced off the 618 Fibonacci level. I have a lot of messy work. Let me let me break it down for you a lot cleaner than that. So I pulled a Fibonacci on it. Okay, and when I pulled the Fib. I got the 618, or do you pull the, yeah, sometimes I pull the fib there, yeah, there we go, that was the initial pump. I got the 618 Fibonacci retracement, which is classic for a healthy pump, and that's really, you just right off that is where you enter, and like everyone did it, like everyone textbook entered right there, and boom, you're up already. Getting in at 50 cents, it's already at 62, and you're up another 20%, right? Um, CHG is about to make a bigger move right now to the upside, it is, it's going to go high. It's probably going to be five, six, seven dollars a coin. Um, where do I see it going? Let me take a look at the market cap, and then I'm going to give you a good, nice deep dive assessment. Now you know what CAG is. You know everything they can do. Have you done read about blogs? Have you have you gone deep diving into CAG? Have you checked out the website? Do you know the market cap? Do you know the diluted market cap? Why is this doing this? Um, CoinGecko's getting overworked. Going back when ADA gets to a dollar, it's going on Coinbase, guys. Last chance to get ADA below 150. Going back in when ADA gets to, it's not going to a dollar, my friend. I don't know what you mean, going back in when ADA gets to a dollar. I don't think you're going to get that lucky, my friend. I really don't. ADA is never going to be a dollar again. I think you mean $2. I don't know what's going on. Something doesn't make sense there. CHZ, I don't know what happened there. We got a little bit, we got froze. We got froze. Coin Gecko's overworked, man. Yeah, I don't know what he's saying. And Andy to Andy. Andy to Andy. We have an Andy. I don't know what the Andy's saying. Andy to Andy. BTC pump. I told you Bitcoin was about to pump. I told you this, guys. I told you to get in. We went over this at the beginning of the channel. We really did. Why is this not working right now? All right. 63 cents. Market cap, 3.4 billion now. Up there, man. It's getting up there, right? Unbelievable. Um, how many coins? 5.3 million circulating supply. Only eight. Wow, that's a small circulating supply. I like that, right? I mean, that's pretty good. Oh, 888. Look, and they do the triple eights. That's pretty cool. Someone loved eights. Eights are very powerful. So they made the circuiting supply all eights. I, I kind of, I'm interested in that. That's interesting. I'm supposed to follow the eight. They, that's, you know, told me. In the last year, it's up 1,100%. 30 days, it's up 1,700%. Unbelievable. 17x in 30 days. And really, this is probably your last chance to accumulate it in this perfect time place, right? The numbers deem it lucky for the Asians, by the way. The eight. It is, right? Yeah. EGLD, Seoul, and AVAX are way ahead of ADA. Oh, yeah. They, um, I don't know. AVA's an amazing man. The world's leading blockchain fintech provider for sports and entertainment. Chili's developed the Socios.com sports for engagement platform, which is built on the Chili's blockchain infrastructure and uses Chili's as its exclusive on-platform on currency. Go to the Chili's exchange. What is Chili? Chili is a currency option for blockchain-backed products and services geared towards mainstream consumers. We want to elevate everyday experiences. Fan engagement is entertainment, alternative payment solutions for conventional products, and more. Chili's provides sports and entertainment entities with blockchain-based tools to help them engage and monetize their audiences. Chili's, the rocket fuel for Socios. Discover Socios. I've never been to Socios. Why don't we take a look together? Thank you so much for the for the money on the deep dive. I really appreciate it. Get fan tokens, vote on exclusive team surveys, and be rewarded. Find your voice. 
When you own fan tokens, you own a pool of the supporters who are pretty powerful when it comes to the collective decision making. Our partner teams are committed to seeking your input. Um, wow. Security is at the heart of the app. Teaming up with the world's biggest clubs. Fan token supply. Interesting. ATM, GAL, ASGR. Shout out to everyone here on the live, man. For the BTC Entertainment Info. Anytime, man. Here are lots of hype on Socios fan tokens. What was a good BTC short-term target? Was a good beat? Yeah, man. We nailed it. We nailed it, dude. We nailed it. Bam. Look at that. I told you Bitcoin was going to pump. Gave you the trade. Gave you the trade right there. Even on the 15-minute smaller trade. And we're actually breaking out. This is a breakout. So I would look out. Bitcoin's about to do damage, man. It was set up. You could see it was set up for Bitcoin to go up pretty high today. Um, cheers for all the knowledge and gains today, Lifer. Peace out, guys. Yeah, we did great, man. We did great. Now we're going to look at the news and we're going to run on out of here. Okay. Now it's all news all the time. This is loading quicker like it used to. We're just going to see more and more good news, man, every single day. It's, just gonna, it's never going to stop. Billionaire this, billionaire that. Pump my bags this, pump my bags that. Make me rich because I was in early. Thank you so much. And I'll take my check, please. Barcelona FC coin is 3344. That one coin on CHZ. Derivatives trading protocol Vega raises $5 million in funding round. One of DeFi's most promising derivatives trading platforms has completed a $5 million funding round led by Arrington Capital and Cumberland DRW. Vegas blockchain agnostic derivatives trading protocol has raised $5 billion in funding. It's pretty cool. I like it. I like it. VCs pile into the derivatives protocol. So venture capitalists love this, man. Vega will be to derivatives as Uniswap was to spot markets. Any derivative can be launched on chain in a highly performant and capital efficient environment just as the amm primitive gave birth to an entirely new wave of trading we believe that vega will unlock nascent collateral i think that's the new thing derivatives man derivative coins i know you guys think it's insane but um 25 profit off of 15 percent leverage trade right you made the trade live here you made the money live on stream could you go into my testimonials man and join my groups and in my testimonials say i watched lifers live stream i made a trade live off of the call the call played out during the live. Thank you, Lifer. Just anyone, any good thing you can do for me, if you don't have to donate, just write a testimonial in here, man. It would mean so much to me. Anyone join this channel, I'll put the link right here and just write a testimonial. Let me know. Let me know how you feel. Let me know how I change your life. I love to read them. They get, they're they the gas to my, to my car, man. It's worth more than money reading those things. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Um, 8 is 145 and going to 218 as your TA. Thanks, Lifer. 8 of hype makes me more BTC. Me too, man. Me too. Um, Barcelona, I'm going to sell the top though because we know 8 is going to move and then it's going to take a little while. It's a large cap. It's a large cap. Uh, VanX Bitcoin ETF application gains traction and awaits a final SEC verdict. The, final, the first American Bitcoin exchange traded fund might hit the market this year. Yeah, I mean, they said it had to hit a trillion. It did. Now it's substantial. Now they have to kind of bend the rules. And also, this is what they want. Everyone needs to get in. Um, will the Bitcoin ETF thrive in the United States? The demand for a Bitcoin ETF highlights a positive outcome for U.S. investors. If launched from the success recording, the Canadian scene it is positive that the Bitcoin ETF will take off successfully if launched. However, the process of bringing it to reality is one that is evidently demanding. Gemini Exchange was on its way to launching one before it got rejected by the SEC. Billion dollar wealth manager Anthony Scaramucci says Bitcoin is better than gold. Bitcoin has found another admirer in billion dollar wealth manager Skybridge Capital. Scaramucci, who went in a recent interview with CNBC, said that he sees Bitcoin as the future and sees it's much easier to store and to transfer. Yeah. The world is changing. That, that's the final record, Joe. That's the yeah. final record. The world's changing. This is Never did the, before uh, with gold, Anthony. That's 
that's what people would say. I mean, you go back 4,000 years. Uh, is it really changing this time? I mean, it, it kind of looks like it. Look at that. Well, it, you know, I mean, it, it was 1,500-something where for Copernicus said, you know, we may be revolving around the sun. I mean, things do change, and so we have to look at it uh, rationally, and we have to accept that if money is a technology that allows us to transfer goods and services to each other efficiently, the technology around us would likely improve money, which is a form of technology. And so Bitcoin has done that, and Bitcoin has slayed 8,300 competitors. It's the largest market cap of all the cryptocurrencies, 60 or 70 percent of the overall market cap, depending on where the prices are bouncing. Uh, and, it, and in a lot of ways, if you really study it, Joe, it's better than gold. Uh, it's easier to store. You can move it around more quickly. Uh, and that value and that trusted network is growing. It's 110 million now. By 2025, it'll be at a billion. And if, it, if we're right and it adopts pursuant to Medcash law, uh, you know, you want to own some Bitcoin. And, you know, be prudent. Anthony. You don't have to own a lot of it, but just own some of it. Be prudent or it'll be like the crypto life room and sell everything you own and get into Bitcoin. Nexus Mutual offers DeFi insurance to another Bitcoin lending platform. Um, wow. Um, this is interesting. Anchor. Look, look at that. Um, Bitcoin lending services Hodl Hout has partnered with Nexus Mutual, creating a smart contract on the Ethereum to provide insurance coverage to its investors. Centralized finance service platform Haldanot has joined forces with Nexus Mutual to provide insurance coverage up to $6.7 million at a premium of 2.7%. Um, big green adult personal stimulation device. <laughs> oh man, it's doing its thing. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Bitcoin. What is this new thing you call the Bitcoins? The bit, the coins. Fedman chair, uh, Chairman Jerome Powell says no rate hike soon. Bitcoin jumps back to 59K. But is at, but is at 55K? Oh, this is old, man. Um, trying to correlate the market. Just a... Deutsche Bank says Bitcoin is now too important to ignore. In her new report, Deutsche Bank analysis French economist Marion Labor writes that Bitcoin can no longer be ignored after its market cap eclipsed one trillion. Bitcoin's market cap over one trillion and scope for continued rise in price makes it too important to ignore. And central banks and governments understand that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are here to stay. Thus, the governments are expected to start regulating them later this year or early next year. She, su she suggests that Bitcoin's massive market cap is justified by the Tinkerbell effect, named after Ferry from Peter Pan. The term is used by economists to explain the power of belief. Something is valuable only because people believe that it has value, similar to how children believe in Santa Claus. Um, I told my daughter really not to believe in Santa Claus. Uh, I told her it was a lie. Honestly, because she could hear us in the middle of the night moving things, and like I just felt like I was lying to her. And I love her so much, I... I can't wait to come see the couch. We're ending the show, and I'm up there in five minutes. Criminal charges against John McAfee are a warning to all crypto users. McAfee's legal defender. Um, McAfee has tweeted from his personal cell that the U.S. government and law enforcement are using him as a scapegoat in order to crack down on crypto. Um, one of the first tax evasion charges involving cryptocurrencies. Former antivirus magnet and present crypto millionaire John McAfee has hired Gordon Law Group, a trusted law firm from Nashville, to lead his defense against the charges he is facing in Tennessee and New York from the IRS and the U.S. Department of Justice. The press release published by law firm states that McAfee's case of criminal tax evasion is one of the first ones that involve cryptocurrencies and certainly one of the most high-profile cases of this nature. McAfee's charges include failure to file tax returns, tax evasion, and securities fraud related to digital currencies. The document states that the case against McAfee marks a tumble turning point in the enforcement of cryptocurrency reporting the author managing attorney Andrew Gordon added that crypto regulation is developing sphere for the IRS and the DOJ. Breaking Gordon Law Group will lead the defense of official McAfee against the charges he is facing in the Tennessee. Um, we're going to be on this. Uh, we're going to cover this closely. I would like to see what happens. As you know, I've interviewed John McAfee before. Some people have told me to take that down as for I may be targeted. Um, I, you know what it is? I asked the guy some questions. I, I did not support all his behavior and all his actions. And I tell you guys every day, if any law enforcement ever did watch my channel, I tell everyone every day to pay their taxes and to do the right thing. So I'm not about evading the law and doing anything of that nature. 
I do feel bad that John got put in prison for a non-violent offense um, over someone taking some, like you have to give your money to us. And if you don't give your money to us, you go to jail. It's just like, it sounds kind of like a bit of a mafia, right? The I know, I'm not going to get into it, but it's pretty scary. Um, the charges against me are absolutely ridiculous. I am being used as a scapegoat for the U.S. to crack down on crypto. This is an attack on all crypto. This is purely and simply the truth. These are my lead attorneys in my pursuit for justice. Um, I like it because he hadn't tweeted in a while. It, I kept checking his tweet and it'd been seven days, you know, maybe even more. Yeah, the 17th. It had been 10, 12 days. Usually he gets a tweet out longer than that. Follow me on crypto uh, on Twitter at CryptoLifer33. I have 904 followers. I want to get to 1,000 and keep it moving. And I also put a lot of calls out. You can see some, look, CXE, I'm putting out calls right here all the time. IXE, BQX, ETH. And I'm sending calls out into the abyss here. Um, so, um, Bitcoin has a liquidity problem. Labor expects Bitcoin to remain ultra volatile due to its low liquidity. The cryptocurrency's daily volume is just a drop in the bucket compared to the pretty much every other commodity, including silver and gasoline. Bitcoin's daily volume was only 1.9% that of gold. The leading crypto is now the third largest currency by circulation behind the world's behind only the US dollar and the euro. Bitcoin now represents over 440% of all greenbacks due to rapid appreciation. Wow, it represents 40% of all the greenbacks. Soon, it's going to represent, oh my God, imagine. Dude, in 10 years, it's done half the damage and it's exponential. So four more years from now, it's going to be higher and higher. Lifer went over 24 tickers today, still had 20 to go. Sorry, we didn't go through them all. Only humans here. Really appreciate what you do. Look forward to all the info and them all. Um, uh, guessing you just had your exchange PDFs over to a CPA at tax time. Seems ridiculously complicated. Thousands of trades are all taxable. Um, yeah. Anthony Scaramucci compares Bitcoin to early Amazon and talks about 64x returns. Once Bitcoin scales and reaches adoption of over 1 billion, um, it could be a, a go. It could go to one trillion faster than all of the companies, primarily because it's decentralized. It got to one trillion faster. You're talking about all the C-suite drama and all the politics associated with it away from it. It's a full-scaling monetary network and a store of value. Says Scaramucci. Yeah, like it's really something. Like people don't realize what it is, right? Between seven and ten percent of Americans plan to buy Bitcoin with their stimulus check. That's not enough, but it's good enough. And there's Fiat Weekly. We're gonna get back to that and. Throw that music on as we end the show. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out when I post my next ticker. Let me go through these last chart sheets. Dude, I hope you took my call and got into chain games. Can't type today, huh? Pure jokes. Hourly closing soon. Big green. Yep. Send Ada every time for Big Dog or Ren if it happens around a little bit before the pump. Ada fighting at 142 now. How many alts would you say you should have in your hands if you are investing in about 1 to 1.5K? If I had 1 to $1,500, I would have no more than 5 to 7 alts. 10 is a lot. I think 5 is a good amount to own. Really appreciate what you do. Looking forward to all the info and the insider stuff with the Patreon. Um, Trader, went over 24 tickers today. Yeah, yeah. Guessing you just had your hand again. Spanish government, some of the worst uh, crims um, anywhere. Similar to all as governors of mentalities. They use McAfee as FUD machine. Never fall for it. JD should have a wrench. Oh, yeah, he should. Bam, JD's got his wrench now. He should have his wrench. 60K Bitcoin, almost there. I think the next time he writes, he'll have a wrench. Thanks for the awesome stream, Lifer. Look at the wick on Ada. Aw, oh, snap. There he goes, man. Thank you for the awesome stream. Great show, break. Look at that wick on Ada. Now I have to see the wick. Why'd you have to? Why'd you do that to me, Andreas? I'm trying to stop the show and you make me go look at a wick. You know I'm gonna look at the wick. Wait, we gotta talk about basic attention token. Absolutely ripping and looking for more. I think this isn't done. It had been waiting a long time to break out. Look, it went right to my target at about 138. Came really, yeah, it hit my exact target, man. Look, hit my exact target. Came down. The measured move is real, my friends. The measured move is real. Um, let's take a look at this Ada Wick you're talking about. Maybe it's only on your exchange. Let's hope. Let's see what he's talking about. Ada Wick. Oof. What is that all about? What is that? So that's a falling wedge. 68% chance of a break to the downside. And look, it did break to the downside exactly like it did. Bounce off the 200-day moving average. That's insane. 
So there you go, man. Falling wedges, they're, you know, it's a bearish pattern. It breaks down 68% of the time. So this pattern was supposed to break to the downside. And look, it did on the 15 minute. But you know what? I'm not worried. It'll make its way probably back into the pattern and continue to the upside. That was a stupid move. Whoever did that dump, that was some whale who just took a dump. But you know what? Probably a bad idea. Ada's still got way more room to grow. He should have dumped it way, way later. It was actually in the pattern too. There was no TA to dump that. He forced that out of the pattern. Ada is not crashing, just retesting. Um, and uh, another great stream, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. You can find out when I post my next video. And remember, if you came to my channel, then you're already doing the right thing. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful day. Thank you so much for a wonderful stream. The Real Mick Government. Quick check on Ada now that it opened on Coinbase Pro. Seems like it might have had a limit sell around 140. Crashed it down hard to 130. Coming back now. We already looked at it right now. We have it up right now. We already looked at it. You're a little late. We already went over it. You thought you were over us, but we already got you. Andreas had us. Thank you so much, guys. I think you have a wonderful day. Again, we're going to say crypto is life at the end of every stream. If you're new here, shout out to everyone here, man. Shout out to everyone on the live stream. I used to shoot, shout out everybody. Now it's almost damn near impossible. So that's actually a feat among men. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I love you all so much. Thank you for all your support. I could never be the lifer without you guys. Um, so as we move forward every single day together, May I bid you adieu. And we're going to say crypto is life at the same time. I'm going to say one, two, three. We're all going to say crypto is life. One, two, three. Crypto is life. We did it again. Another beautiful stream. Another beautiful day. Love your life. Take care of yourself. Do what you have to do to stay mentally and spiritually healthy. I love you all. I will see you on the next stream tomorrow morning, Friday. And actually later on, we're going to be doing a stream from the couch. So stay tuned. I told you guys you're going to see my brand new couch. So I'm going to show you. It's a giant couch. It's huge. Like I could fit 10 lifers on this couch. So come to the live stream in a little while. It's going to be an easy, quick talk. I'm probably going to give you a quick gem and then we're going to move on. But thank you guys so much for the live stream. Thank you so much for the love. I'll see you on the couch later. Peace. Probably around four o'clock. Four o'clock.